still going to be doing this in the background, but yep. You do you. You do you. You don't even know when this thing goes live anyways. I can't even tell if it's live right now. It says it is. It says it's live when it's live. I don't believe it. Hi, guys. Are we live yet? You tell me. Uh, and that, that clock is the clock in the boss's office. <laughs> Your boss has got some weird... <laughs> Well, a weird clock. This is here for the holidays. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to our monthly happy hour get together. Welcome, all. This is not quite like Shush Shush. This is definitely not like fantasy football. For as much as we goof off during Shush Shush, we goof off a lot more. Here. Even more here because there's alcohol involved. There's no rules. All right. So today, this month, our theme is holiday office party. Which is where we're at, Natalie. What room in your what room in the office are you in? Looks like I'm in my office. Your office? <laughs> no, actually, I mean, though, no, I thought about it. I was going to decorate, and then I was like, no, but this is my office. Right. So technically, I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> I mean, it could be the reset. We were saying we were talking about what our jobs. I'm what our jobs would be in the office, and I would be the executive assistant. And I'm sitting in the boss's office right now, playing at his desk, which is where, which is why it's so dark and woody. Uh, and Natalie would be the uh, temporary um, front desk receptionist, yeah. but that I'd be the temporary up. front front desk receptionist. <laughs> they they keep asking me if I want more responsibilities and if I want to make it permanent, but no, I keep yeah. saying no. No, I'm good. No, no, I'm good. And it, either that or I would be the boss. There's no good. in between. There's yeah. no in between. You're either always entry level at the most entry level entry, mm -hmm. or the top brass. Yeah. So either you do nothing or mm -hmm. you do everything. You pay. Yeah. It's up it's up to you. Uh and also, yes, we're drinking today. Uh it's a holiday party and I was digging around and all I could find left in the free bar was white claw. <laughs> so that's what I <laughs> And I brought a I brought a flask and I'm just, and I I'm bring drinking Jack and Coke. So <laughs> You're very smart to bring a flask to the party. Yeah, well they make rules next year about it, so Oh, that you can't bring a flask at the office party? Yeah, every year I end up getting somebody in trouble with, got to make a new rule every year, oh. <laughs> which is also why I can't move up in this company. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, you're six. You're still the temp receptionist. And mm -hmm. you've broken every rule every single time. Yeah, I don't think temps should be the ones that, like, temp receptionists should be, should be who you're making rules off of, but it's just how it's working it's out. Somehow. All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers, Nat. Cheers, 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 cheer. cheers. Got through it. My goodness. Hmm. Sorry, I'm still uh, hunting down um, elf name generators because I decided yeah. I wanted to do this now, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, we, Natalie's obsessed. And we have one somewhere. And right yeah. now... She, that I is. have three now though, so I have to decide which one of these I want to use. I'm done looking though. This will be the last one. I'm gonna pin it, pin it, pin it. and move on. Pins, okay. John. Pins, John. Uh cha 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 cha. Welcome to the happy hour. La 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 la. We, we made, made it through it another month. month. We made it through another year. Oh my God, la, we la, made la. it to the end of this year. We yeah. got how many weeks of videos out and on time? I mean, like no disasters, no missing. No, we, we're done. The last one went up today. The, the video that went up today is the last episode, last video to go up on the channel, and the last video to go up in bonuses, the last try step of the year. That's it. Mm -hmm, we're done. Mm -hmm, we're done. Mm -hmm, we're done. That's it. I quit. Wait, what? No, I'm just I kidding. quit. What? What? Should, what? <laughs> no, oh, we get a bonus. Are we getting Wait. holiday bonuses, Tara? <laughs> this <laughs> company <laughs> sucks. <laughs> I will say this company throws the best parties. <laughs> Wait, the reason I stick around. We get a Christmas bonus. No, where that's it. We made it through another year. That's that is four years in the bag for a YouTube channel. Which I think Mr. Steve said Sheila in accounting asked me to help her with something in the supplies closet. Be right back. <laughs> Uh, my, my computer right now is sitting on top of an empty MacBook Pro box and and the box that holds the, the uh, cords for my ring light. That's what it's on. Every day it's something different. Something new. Yeah. That's always the fun of like travel and trying to put your stuff on yeah. things and finding the way to light the room and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had to stop earlier than usual today. I'm like, all right, guys, I got to go do set deck because uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Nope, wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. Everywhere. Yes, this is probably this is probably where I'll be tomorrow for for fantasy football, which 
any of you people out there in the fantasy football, we're, we're back on for one of our last ones tomorrow. So join us tomorrow at noon for that. It's still mm -hmm, mm -hmm. going to happen. But, oh, Holly Bonus sent via PayPal. Thank you, Ben. You're oh, thank you, Ben. Did I put that in the description box? I don't know if I did. Uh, yes, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Justin brought me a plate of meats and cheeses. However, it's, um. I mean, thank you. But That's it's, a, it's yeah. like mozzarella sticks cut up. And this is this is sandwich meat. And I think this is a here you party. And I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Did Kathy and uh, did, I'm trying to think of like company title. Did did Kathy and administrative do the uh, catering again? Because that looks like Kathy's work. I don't know. She had she had asked her husband to do it, but again, he forgot and waited till last minute. And the store was all sold out of everything except for string cheese and sandwich deli meat. Oh, oh Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this ridiculous office we apparently work at just does mm -hmm. a good cheese bread. I saw something that said a meme. No, it was a it was a meme of a man holding up a sign that said charcuterie is grown up lunchables. And I could yes. not agree more. Like, true. That is so true. And I'm I'm so here for it. I love I love charcuterie, but yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Mm-hmm. I would, you know, I'd be happier if they just ch called it Lunchables because I don't like trying to say charcuterie. Char, charcuterie. Char, 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 Yeah, I can't, I can't say it. Yeah, I've been sitting down with my dad. I'm like, ah, oh, that's why I mispronounce that word every single time. Cause he does. Mm -hmm. He just like listening to him try to say certain words is like, no, that's, that's not the word dad. What are you trying to say? You know this, like mm, you know the plate with R. the cheeses and the meats. Like, no, Dad, there's an R in that word. Chartreuse. There's. Char I put. I think I put too many R's. Is my problem. Sure, sure, sure. I just keep. I just. I kept put way too many R's in there. There's some words that I put way too many L's in. I'll just like oh, yeah. little, little. So is one of my dad's. My one of the, the best examples is expresso. Mm -hmm. People are like, why don't you have an accent from Texas? Like, well. Texans, it's not that we have an accent, especially from where I'm from. It's that we say certain words. Yeah. Uniquely. Like, you can go, oh, that's Houston. But if you know there's certain, like, like espresso. Espresso is just kind of what people say. Yeah. Well, see, no, this is the thing. Yeah. Justin's like, you say espresso wrong. And I'm like, I know how it's spelled. It's not that I'm saying it wrong. I just have an accent. Yeah. Like, well, it's if, like it's as long as I know how it's spelled. It's like Whataburger. We all say Whataburger. Yeah, like that's and just people that say wash. wash. They know how to spell wash. They, they, just, spell they just have wash. an accent. <laughs> it just it feels nice to say wash. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> worse and worse. No, no, it's how it is. But it's fun. It's always fun to listen to my dad talk. I'm like, mm. and I always find new ones. Like, dad, that is that is not a word. I can't, yeah. I can't think of one that he keeps doing. And I can't, I can't think of one right now, but it's been really fun to go, I'm sorry, what, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry what? what? How often, what's the one that I keep saying to Justin that I have to, I constantly turn to Justin and go, is that a word? And he says, no. I, oh, I, I say handedly, handedly instead of handily, hand, 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 I can't say it. I can't all, do it. All that's wrong. I can't do it. I'm <laughs> because we write so much now and I want to say like a colloquialism. So like, I have to go like, wait, what? And like, go look it up. Like I, I wanted to say, get us out of Hawk to somebody like an attack. So I'm like, mm -hmm. wait, what is wait, that? But what, I, yeah, what does that mean at which Hawk? How am I spelling this? Like, am I yeah. using it correctly? Well, that was chock full. Chock full, yeah. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. one. yeah we both were trying to use chock full. Mm -hmm. I like to say this episode's chock full of blah, but yeah. like- I, wait, But it's chock, it? it's not, it's, it meant choke. Not so, chalk, it's chalk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not chalk, like full of, of pieces that you can write on the, on the ground with. <laughs> and it's hawk, H-O-C-K. It has to do with taking stuff to the, uh, what's the place where you sell it? Pawn shop. It talks yeah, about getting something out of hawk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, so I redid, I redid my nails. Still growing, still going strong. I had to redo two nails because I chipped them. But like, I'm noticing that my nails are actually getting long right now. FYI, that's for you, Nelly. Like, like oh, they're good. No, no, nay, no. nay. That episode hasn't launched yet, Tara. So no. stop giving the whole thing away. <laughs> no, well, listen. <laughs>
they, they, well, listen, that's, well, shush, shush, it's shush, shush. But no, just so you know, it's going, I'm, I'm, you know, you are one thing, I'm another. So far. No. So I will, well, we'll talk about this after it goes out. Polar opposites. Yeah. Yeah. You will, we'll talk about more, the things I've learned since, we'll talk about those and shush, shush after. Spoiler for an upcoming episode, Natalie and Tara get something out of Hawk. <laughs> No, anything we put into Hawk, we never get back out. Oh, thank you, Ed. Office happy hour fun. Oh, thank thanks, you, Ed. Ed. You're sweet. a little bit ahead of me. Huh? I don't know what this cheese is. Oh, oh the... I think they might have been baby oh. bells. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph really got inventive. He went into the cheese section. He's like, well, there are a lot of cheeses in the cheese department and went to like the the other cheese section where the lesser known <laughs> cheeses are, where the like the, the, the non-party cheeses. And the non-party cheeses. I like that there's a party cheese section and there's a non-party. Party cheese. It's over with the olives. You know where I'm talking about. Like, no, I know, but these olives. are the respectable cheeses and those are the party cheeses. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you so much. <laughs> five five dollars of the airtime. Thanks, Thank you. David. You said so Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got your bus. Yay! Good. Ed. I think I saw your message, but I've been a, it's been really crazy. I'm at, I'm with my dad's side of the family right now, and which my, is the party side of the family. <laughs> her parents are the her her mom's the respectable cheese. Her dad is the party cheese. <laughs> my mom. It's all calm. We play board games. It's very small. Like I have time to do my homework and stuff. Here it's just chaos. Chaos. Right oh yeah. Right now we've got. One dog. We had five cats, but we've got we're down to three. Two kittens and a mom. <laughs> so they heard the cat had kittens. They're not just like throwing them away. <laughs> They're not dying. She started with we started with five cats. We're down to two. It's been a crazy week. <laughs> and five adults all in one house. Which is, it's just, and like all doing different things, all doing like running around doing different Christmassy stuff. So it's just been like just this chaotic, you know craziness yeah. and stuff and we got two i got two two children under two running around right now there's so toddlers I'm, and and cats and dogs yeah. and mass if hysteria waiting, if you hear crying somebody brought their kids to the office party which i don't understand i bet you it's sheila sheila, sheila? Down, yes mm -hmm. i guess sheila it. sheila has I, does sheila have kids she takes, she takes them everywhere is that why she's so unhappy <laughs> yes well <laughs> Yes, yes she does not look like she she settled down to me <laughs> uh there's a six-year-old and a four-year-old and a three-year-old oh my goodness no more no more i told you i misunderstood the decorating instructions i don't know what's happening brat queen i got lost i'm so sorry sheila she's sheila oh <laughs> <laughs> Rat Queen is Sheila. I just realized I used Sheila too many times. I need to mix up my name. I need to get a, a nice bigger Rolodex of names. I used to have a, when I was doing improv, I had a good Rolodex of names to go. Yeah, Sheila's taken. That's why it can't be Sheila's kids. Yeah, Unless we have two Sheila. Sheila's in the office. I mean. Well, there's Sheila, there's Sheila W and Sheila A. So Sheila A is the goth. And Sheila, Sheila with two E's? Huh? Sheila with two E's? Two, two, two E's. Yeah. Two okay. E's Sheila. Dewey Sheila. Dewey Sheila has got two of a something else too, and they're very <laughs> large. <laughs> She's the one with the kids. She settled down. Okay. Dewey Sheila. Got it. Got it. Yeah. There you go. Not not dark as my soul, Sheila. No, no, not dark as my soul, Sheila. Two Sheila, two Eve. Completely different Sheila. Sorry to be confusing, guys. Yeah, when I was doing improv, I had a lot of names booked up, and I don't remember any of them. I used to like anytime I heard a good name, I would store it in my brain for later. That way it wasn't always John and Sheila. It's not inventive. That's funny because Sheila would not be one that I ever like improved. Like I've never named anything Sheila in my entire life. <laughs> it's not one of my go-tos. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I'm sure I'm sure that I just got how is my internet connection unstable? That is absurd. Uh, yeah. You're 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 having a little techno. Yeah, it says it was that why it's called techno music. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Sharon. Well, Sharon's a great name to yell, and I think we all know this to be true. That's why you guys. Sharon yeah. is the name of. Oh no, Sharon. Yeah, Sharon is our is uh, 
The GPS in the car. Yeah. But Shut up, Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> Shut up, Sharon. <laughs> Shut up, Sharon. It's a good, it is a good name to yell at. Sharon. I love it. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Sharon. Like a uh, South Park. I, love, I like doing that voice. There, yeah, there are like 20 Steves in the office. We can't keep track. Yeah, well, there's, yeah. I don't know why we keep hiring Steves. It's a drinking game. I need them to all rename themselves. That I'm just tired of all these. Too many A names, names. yeah. Mm -hmm. Too many A's, too many A's. I'm starting with the A's. All of you are going first. Everybody needs to rename themselves something else entirely with a different letter. So I stopped going. Oh, oh. Adam, Adam. Well, it's also bad because there's so many A. It's A, J's. A's, J's, and then ends every once in a while. Um, yeah. And it always ends up happening that like, it's A-L. So I can't use it, like I can't just go A-L and it'd be right. Alan or Alex and we're just like, cause A, you know, right. like, I can't just shorten it. So I have to go all yeah. the way to the third letter. No, <laughs> now I'm just spelling everything. <laughs> yes. Well, now we've got, now we've added, you know, Nathan to the mix. We got a Nathan and a Nal. I'm like, God, yeah. shorthands are That's Tanil stole my tea thing, and I swear I might murder her about it. Like, no, yeah. you don't get to take tea. You know what? If you want tea, it has to be uppercase. You can have it. Thank you, Scott Westbrook. Happy New Year. Um, if you want to use tea, that's fine, but it has to be hey, uppercase. Scott. I get lowercase t, and that's all there is to it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tanil. Paw down. The first, the first restaurant I worked at, um, the Hooters that I worked at, there were if there were two of anybody, you were T1, T2. Like okay. there were two Terras, there were T1, T2. There was a Natalie and then and there was tons of them. And then another Natalie got hired. And I said, absolutely. Well, I will not be in a Natalie one or two. So we ended up with good Nat and bad Nat is what was on our name tags. Yeah. <laughs> and of course I was bad Nat. Yeah, of course <laughs> like, you were. So like we all had our name tags. There's T1 on their name tags, T2. Everyone had their nicknames. Mine was Bad Nat. And then by the end of it, this the third Hooters that I worked at, I had the Grinch name tag. Right. Yeah. yeah that they're... was my own. That was my own doing though. I, I picked that name. Well, I mean, like they're going to give it to you eventually. You might as well just claim it before they can. You might as well just take that right back and just yeah. claim it as your own. Well, we had this, there was a dry erase board on the wall that had like the jobs of the restaurant. Like it was like, so you had the manager's names on there and then it had assistant managers and a place to fill in or whatever. And then your training supervisors and stuff. And I was, uh, I was the training coordinator and the, um, promotions coordinator. So my name was on there. And so what I went through and erased them all and put like a Christmas nickname. So it was like Evan the elf and things like that. And it got down to me and I was like, Natalie Grinch and everybody is, and no one else's name stuck <laughs> for the rest of time. I was Grinch. I don't know why. Oh, the copy room is here again. What's his name again? I don't remember what his name. No, what guy? Oh, from the copy room. copy room. Do you remember his name? I don't know what you're talking about. Copy oh, room guy? Steve? Steve, Steve the copy room guy? Steve, 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 the copy room guy. Thank you. I can't remember his name. <laughs> no, Summer Tess just named himself the copy room guy. That's my favorite. What's his name again? Hey, Steve. How are, <laughs> How are the kids? Oh, yeah. Oh, Steve, yeah. Great, great. The copy room guy is here. Yeah. If I'm I think you'd have to be kind of insane to work in the copy room. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, that'd be a miserable job. <laughs> you know, so full disclosure, I haven't gotten you a Christmas present yet because I haven't decided. I didn't get anybody Christmas presents this year. Okay. Fine. I'm going to celebrate Leon Day, which is in the middle of July. What? It's half Christmas. It's Noel spelled backwards. Leon Day, okay. half right. Christmas. Great. Can I, can I wait till then? Because I have no idea what to get you. I, I didn't get anybody birthday, anything. I sent your birthday present to your house, and now I have no idea what to. I was like, "Well, blew that idea." I got my family. I donated to charities and for all of my family. Yeah. We decided not to do Christmas, yeah. so I went and found a charity. Not to not do Christmas, but not to gifts. Mm -hmm. And so I found a charity that matched each of them and like donated to those. Yeah, I mean, just I just missed the 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 mark on like yeah. the time to like look for presents and it be arriving in time at all. And I'm just like, nope, Leon Day. That's great. <laughs> Oh God, right? Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, well, now I'm late. I'm just going to tell her there's nothing there for her. I would have sent it to your other house. Well, and Justin got his Viva paper towels. So I'm like, He did well, get his Viva paper towels. He was very excited about it. 
<laughs> Justin, I was sitting. So like two days before Christmas, I turned to Justin. I go, I didn't get you anything for Christmas. <laughs> and he was like, well, I, go, I go, I just have to tell you, I didn't do, I didn't get, I mean, you don't have anything coming. <laughs> he was like, it's okay. <laughs> so he's like, you don't need to give me anything. The stark difference between this year and last year. Last year, you got the yeah. hundred gift. Yeah, Justin. So then this morning, I'm like, this morning we were driving some, we were driving uh, to go get groceries, and I'm scrolling through my phone, and something was advertised to me that I had thought about getting. Justin, I go, I thought about getting this for you, but instead I got you nothing. And I was like, but we could still buy it for you if you wanted. I got you thoughts. I thought about this. I thought about this. I thought about this. It's the thought that counts, right? That's what I've always been told. I did not. I failed miserably at Christmas giving this year. Yeah, well, whatever. Then great. Boof, let's not even worry about it. Cause <laughs> Wolf, this this year. Yeah, uh, I realize now that if I want to actually do anything for Christmas presents, I have to start. I mean, we did filming at the beginning of the month and then it was birthday celebrate. Yeah. And then it was and then that, and it was like, okay, if I'm going to have a birthday, that kind of birthday, you know, where I, you know, I'm not home or whatever, yeah. then I need to be planning to have all Christmas solved by then. Mm -hmm. So like, it's like, okay, but then if we're going to be filming at the beginning, I need to have all of all Christmas solved by December 1st, if that's yeah. basically what it is. It was like, after that, it's already too late for me. It's just, it's ever it's too, it's too late, too for, late for me. I'm done. I failed. <laughs> But you know what I did do? So Justin had bought like some very practical things for all of his family. And it was all the same, you know, he got these survival kits for all the kids that have like, um, you know, um, yeah, yeah, it has like the actually has the spark thing, the, the fire starter in it and I all sorts of, my brother. All yeah. sorts of stuff. Yeah. But, so uh, I he wanted me to wrap them. But what I did do, I went and I took um, a couple pages of uh, um watercolor paper and painted like just big blue circles and stuff and cut them out and made their own little tags for each of them. And yeah. on a couple of the kids I made actually like drew little, I mean, painted little Christmas trees. And I'm like, I'm never buying tags again. Yeah. I'm forever going to be watercoloring that's your so people's cute. Christmas tags. Cause I like yeah, them so cute. much. Yeah. So like your, your Christmas bulb idea of like the <laughs> yes. behind you. I guess genius. Yeah. I think it's definitely a, a do a, a thing that, if my mom my, shows up, we should, I need to show, she, I don't know if she's acknowledged that I made her a Christmas ball. <laughs> I got my, my nieces, I got them a cameo. You know mm -hmm. what a cameo is? Okay. Yeah. I got them a cameo from Elsa because they love Elsa. So like they say, Eden, Princess Eden, I've been looking all over Arendelle for you. Oh my I've God. I've watched it so many times. Oh Princess wow. And I, I can like quote the whole thing to you now because I've seen it that many times. So cute. Wow. I would love to spend Christmas with you, but I have to celebrate here with my friends. So for me and my friends to you, Merry Christmas. <gasps> like I know the whole That's thing. That's cute. It's so funny. Yeah, it's really cute. So I got to record them I got to record the kids watching it with their parents. Yeah. To the parents, so it was a good. That's like, super cute. Yeah, the camera was a really fun, like unique, non stuff mm -hmm. to give. Yeah. And the, yes. Well, that was the other thing. It's like this year, I had talked to my sisters and we were all like, we don't want any things. That's, yeah. Like, that's me. Like it's getting, I mean, I, I love giving gifts. I like receiving gifts. It's just, there's this weird thing that happens where because it's Christmas day and you're supposed to give everybody a gift, you're now giving, there's, there's inevitably like three or four people that you're just giving them a thing that they don't really want. And you know, they don't really want it, but you felt yeah. obligated to get them a thing because you have to get, and it's just like, well, but now you just have a thing. Yeah. You don't just need a yeah, thing. I try, to, I try to do this thing where like, if I see something at any point in the year out in the yeah. world that reminds me of somebody, I just buy it and throw it in a box. And then I go to that box getting close to Christmas time. And I'm like, oh great, I have all these gifts for so, like that, that necklace I got for my stepmother and gave mm -hmm. her that I just randomly bought. I was like, oh, this reminds me of her. I'm gonna you buy You just have it. to remember that you got them. Well, I forgot about it. And then I was like, I went to the box this year. I was like, well, what's already in the box before yeah. I started going? And I already had stuff stored up. And that necklace in there, I was like, oh, that's right. I love this necklace. I mean, the box is a little banged up from traveling, but whatever. <laughs> You know, yeah, it worked, it worked out. But yeah, that's kind of, I try to do that whenever I can, because then it's easier when you get to Christmas time. Like, oh, I found things that I know this person will want and like, and not just yes. Yes. stuff, because I know I have to give them something or whatever. Which is also like, you know, 
I found that um, that record when we were out that I wanted to give Brett, you right. know, like, yeah. Yeah. and I, I gave it to him and I was like, this is not a Christmas present. This is not a birthday present. This is just a random thing. I found you. Cause I just also, I don't like people feeling that they have to get me something right. either. Right. Like awesome. I would much rather in the middle of the year, you walk up and go, I found this, this, this notebook yeah. and I thought you'd like it, you know, like, which is what I, you know, I do. I'm randomly just giving people things. I'm like, I saw this and I thought you'd like it. I guess I could start a box that is to give it to people later on. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I wouldn't say hi as anybody in the beginning, but hi guys. Hey, Sezzy. Um, yes. I'm sorry, I just had a thought that we should talk about later. Uh, there was something else I wanted to say about Christmas presents, and I I was like holding my thought and like listening to you. So I'm trying to be a better person in life. And actually, you listen. listened well enough that you forgot it. Yeah, I know. And so I'm trying to hang on. To I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my Christmas present to you. I actually listened to you for a change. You should have a notebook. Where I think, I, I mean, is that better if when someone's talking to you, you're like, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. I think I did that with Justin one day that he was like on this long thing and I like wrote a little note. I was like, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> like, I mean, I do that during shush, shush at the, especially at the top. If I see comments that roll by at the top when we're doing the roll call, I like, mm -hmm. I'll make a note, like refer to this, refer to that as people's questions roll through since I can read and you can't and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yeah. But then also, you know, don't tell like, people I can't read. <laughs> we have been putting up a, such a front so far. <laughs> what? Did, what was I thinking about Christmas presents? It was... Don't members, don't members, not important. It's probably that something, 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 something. I don't know. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Don't care. Oh, yes, now I remember. <laughs> I got myself a present. So Christmas, Christmas Day, I was on my own for a little bit. And so I was like tooling on my phone. And Ben, if you're out there, you might be interested in this. So I got my, you're going to be like, that is not a present. I got myself a thing. Uh, they have these online marathons that you can run. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Mm -hmm. So you sign up. It's like 20 or 30 bucks to sign up for it. You do it online. There's an app for it. It's called Conqueror. And what it is is like you – you. so the one I signed up for is the Pyramid of Giza run. And mm -hmm. it's 26.4 miles. And you give yourself a time frame to finish the marathon. So like – I gave myself six weeks to finish 46.4 miles. And once you okay. complete it, they they confirm your address and send you an actual medal for completing it. And they're only open for a certain time. So like there's the Pyramid of Giza and a couple of other two that are running that are running at the same time in January. So it doesn't start until January 1st. It only runs for like up to this many weeks. And then they stop running that specific marathon. And there's a whole entire like base script group book that you join of people that do multiple of these all year long as like a a fun way to encourage yourself to stick to a yeah no i get that yeah yeah for like and i was like i don't i mean i don't really have a problem like at this juncture sticking to running often isn't hasn't been much i'm not super consistent but like i yeah. have trouble. like I've, I've been running every i've been running a couple times oh uh a couple times i've been running like two days in a row take a day off two days in a row take a day off the pretty much the whole time i've been here so i haven't really missed working out at all since i've gotten here so it's not like i'm having trouble with that but i thought it'd be a really yeah. fun way to start the year out and so that's what i got myself which you're gonna be like that's not a present tara but i was like well that and i got myself a, a face yoga thing another like oh yeah try out. yeah it's called Ironically, also called a marathon. I don't know why. It was like a face yoga like class or something. I don't really know. Hmm, interesting. Well, so if I look thinner and younger in 30 days, that is what it is. <laughs> um, Blair said he got a medal once. Okay. Um, and uh, Brian had asked if you had tried the zombie run yet, which I don't no. know what that is. Brian, what what is a zombie run? Uh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, Laura is doing the Pyramid of Giza marathon. Okay, that's the one I'm doing, the Pyramid of Giza. Who, wait, who is that, Laura? I think Laura said that if I, oh, if I'm going to run the Pyramid of Giza marathon, I'm dang well going to go there. I got it, okay. Yeah, I was, I was I, told, I like, it. well, and that's why I picked Giza, because I've always wanted to go see the Pyramid, mm -hmm. but, I mean, I don't really know if that's going to happen. 
Brian, don't just be upset that we don't know what it is. Tell me what it is. <laughs> 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 to be fair, Brian's my friend, so I get to know. <laughs> ben got an exercise map. A map? I don't oh, know what that is. Matt. Would you want to no, get a map? Oh, I maybe meant map, but he put map. I was looking at Lulu, Lululemon. Oh my God, so funny. So I, I posted that thing on Facebook. I posted it on Facebook, like, hey, Facebook, what's your favorite yoga mat, whatever. Mm -hmm. And someone texts me separately, and the way they wrote Lululemon, it looked like Lulu Lemon. Mm -hmm. like I, Lemon. I don't know why, but I was like, oh, that's so weird. Like, I wonder if they've gotten in any trouble for being so similar to Lulu, because I only know Lululemon as a clothing company. For, for worker clothes. I didn't even think mm -hmm. about the fact that they would make their own mats. So yeah. I've been like, you know, this, this brand, Lululemon, Lululemon, mm -hmm. and my sister's like, you mean Lululemon? Like, yes, Lululemon is what I mean. He's I like, thought it was Lemon. No, it's Lululemon. Hmm. Yeah. Shows me how much I, I care. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, knew, I knew there was a Lululemon. I knew it existed in the world, but I didn't, I just, for some reason, because the way this person wrote it, I disconnected and my brain was like, that's weird. It's really similar to Lululemon. Like, but whatever crazy things happen, Lululemon, <laughs> kind of like that. There's a coffee brand called La Mill, but I always think it's LA Mill. Or maybe oh yeah. 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 There's a lot of, yeah. A lot of those that like the way it's written or, I mean, sometimes even the fonts they end up using. Yeah. If you read it wrong the first time you can't. Thank you, Justin. Yeah. He Is brought me another gum scotch or champagne flavored. <laughs> they should make mm. champagne flavored Nero gum. I'd be very happy about that. I didn't get myself anything either. I neglected myself as well as everyone else. That's not entirely. Actually, no, I haven't bought anything in the last. Yeah. Well, I've been a little bit of, frugal for the last yeah. couple of days. I went on a bit of a tear, just kind of buying stuff for the house. Kind of read yeah. <gasps> we bought a new shower head today. I'm very excited Ooh, about that. And that's how you know you're old. <laughs> no, no. I've always been a big shower head fan. Uh, <laughs> I've always been this, a is a big, this is a big deal. So my bathroom has been, uh, there's been, like, there's four lights, a light fixture with four lights, but one of them has been out for a little while. And the ones that are there were all way too dull. And I was having this problem with, I couldn't see in the shower. Like if I want to like, and I already can't see because I'm not wearing my contacts or my glasses. So like trying to shave my legs, I can't see anything I can't see. It's too dark. Also that shower head is like spraying down. You can't get away from it. There's no like pushing it against the wall. Even yeah. like, so today we bought new bulbs and it's so freaking bright in there. It's like the sun is shining on you. It just feels warmer even. And it, <laughs> brighter in your shower than it is in your living room. <laughs> yes. And then we bought, we got a shower head that has like the one fixed and then the handheld also. And so you have like nine different settings. I'm so excited. Unfortunately, Wheeler, bad. Sorry. Unfortunately, I had taken a shower before we went out shopping. So now I have to wait mm -hmm. to try out the new shower head. Boom. Uh, Brian says it's an app. It's like an interactive audio walking dead tracks how fast slash distance you're running and adjusts the story. So if you Ooh. have to outrun the zombies and reach safe houses, escape the city, etc. That's really cool. I would do that. That sounds really fun. I might Ooh, lock picking engineer got 10 silver coins for himself. Just, oh, Justin's kind of say. Justin's kind of presence. Um, what was I just gonna say? Oh, I'm watching. Um, I was telling you this Tara, but I'm telling everyone else now. So, hey, Jamie. uh, I've been watching um, Z Nation. What yeah. is that on, Justin? What channel is that? I mean, it, I think it's it's like a Netflix or an Amazon original, mm -hmm. and um, it's a zombie show. It's there's it's not really a comedy, but there's plenty of like comedic. It's it's much more of a comedy than. Um, Walking Dead ever was. It's like a funnier version of Walking Dead, right. uh, but it's fun. It's, it's, I like it. I, I think it's worth a watch. Uh, oh, it used to be a sci-fi network. Now yeah, it's on that makes sense. Netflix. I like it. It's a cool show. I'm oh, getting wow. like a zombie kind of kick. Shannon West's sister lost 180 pounds using the zombie, the zombie app. I mean, I'm sure, with them, <laughs> but that's pretty fun. How, were they, was it bitten off? I mean, listen, Justin, I think that the zombie app Sounds like it's right up your alley because, you know, survivalists got to gotta, yeah. gotta train for the potential apocalypse that's coming. Tara, I've done yoga three days in a row. You did yoga? 
three times. <laughs> you done yoga? I did, but I have to tell you, illness. No, well, we had already decided not, not really, to. Okay, no, it's not really exciting enough. Actually, it probably would have been because one, I have the weakest ankles in the world, and they cannot support my body. My feet are too small and my ankles are too small yeah. to support my weight. And I am like, I can't stand, I can't do the tree pose, the tree trunk pose. Like I, I need to leave one foot on, I need to leave both feet on the ground. Anytime they're taking one of the feet off the ground, I almost die. But beyond that, I skip all oh, of the breathing parts. <laughs> this like, this long focusing breathing that happens in the beginning, I'm like, scan, all right. Let's actually do the stretchies. And then at the end, there's like 10 minutes of laying here. I'm like, this isn't a 30 minute routine. This is a 10 minute routine surrounded by fluff. <laughs> I do. Oh, that's enough lady. And I'll send you some, well, there, there's still going to be some fluff in there, but I'll send you some that I do. Well, I found two that I like. I found two 30 minute beginner ones that are like pretty easy. I mean, they're a beginner, but they hurt. Yeah. Like not just like in the stretch. It's well, like, it's you want me to lean on my leg like that? Why? Yeah. My leg does not want me to do that. No. You're, you're no. using, you're using like, like inner muscles is my understanding. Like just muscles you don't really use in like other activities, like major sports. You don't wind up using the same muscles that you use in yoga. So it's like, yeah. even if you're an athlete and doing a lot of athletic stuff, you're not using the same muscles. Well, like, like warrior poses. Like, yeah. I mean, like that, yeah, that lunge like, is way that is like not yeah. like, yeah. Well, and then it, there's what, what I, and now I know some of the names. I think one's like pigeon. There's yeah. like the pigeon pose yeah. where you're, you're, or maybe it's a half pigeon that I don't know. Like you're one leg over the other one and then try, yeah. like. You're doing, wait. It's next. just one. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm in a Oh scope. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the, you, you cross your, you cross your right foot over your left knee. Mm -hmm. And then like the, my right knee is in pain. It's yeah. not like pulling anywhere else. It's just actually the no. joint goes, no, Yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, Tai Chi is fun too. I used to do Tai Chi in college. Uh, no, I like I like yoga for many of the things. I still do. I was doing like, gosh, like 15, 20 years ago, Baron Baptiste was this old yogi from California. Not old, mm. but like, I mean, considering now he is old. Well, yeah. But but I still do these same DVDs that I've been doing for the last 15 years at least. I just found them on YouTube. Is that one of the one you gave me? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's It's very dated but I still like I still like them and still enjoy them and like I know them so well that I can do I can do it without the video now but I still do it with it because it makes me slow down and actually do yeah the well yeah. the reason I, I started doing it because I do need to start working out I mean you should see the text thread between Tara and I this oh my god it's of... hysterical <laughs> she's like I'm dying <laughs> I'm I, I, I put on I put on so much weight I think I'm going into hibernation I'm sleeping for nine hours <laughs> Not every day. And, and my face is getting fat even. <laughs> I was so unhappy the other day. Um, but so, although I did realize, Tara, actually, I just needed to throw away a pair of pants. Like oh, these, these pants, well, I mean, I do need to lose weight also. But this pair of, of like pajama pants were hitting just in the wrong place. So that like, oh. uh, it was like getting a muffin top type situation yeah. in the front. Yeah. And it was miserable. As soon as I put on a different pair of pajama pants, I was like, I had these other ones that were like, I mean, I guess they're slightly bigger, but they're really not that big. <laughs> no big deal. Anyway. But so, I, I, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. I was just going to say that. So that was like, I'm going to go, we're going to do keto, but when I'm on keto, I don't have any extra energy. Yeah. Like I, my body is I not, there's not enough for it to feed off of, to also have energy to do things. Mm -hmm. It's just enough to survive. So I can't, so, but I want to, so I can't work out while I'm doing it. So right. instead I will do, I will do uh, Yoda, Yoda, Yoda. <laughs> I'm going to do Yoda. And Justin says, Nally started doing yoga two days ago and I bought her 40 pairs of yoga pants since like Justin Wheeler. Meanwhile, the thing is he's bought me yoga pants every day of his life anyway. I constantly am getting another pair of yoga pants. He's been trying to How do I get a man to buy me clothes, Natalie? Like I don't I don't understand. Like Justin's just buy uh, my dad does the same thing. My dad always buys me clothing. And he has mm -hmm. my dad for a straight man has very good taste in clothes. He gave me he gave all of my, my sisters mom's here. Hi mom. He gave all my sisters and I clothes. We're doing a like a family photo thing 
uh, tomorrow. And he got us all clothes in the color scheme just to kind of be helpful and stuff. And like, I told him and he, everything he picked up was great, except that as he, for me, as if you get to live because everything is too big on me and I feel very good about myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big, the sweater was too big. I'm like, you get to live because I feel very thin right now. That I'm oh so no, Justin's been doing the opposite. Justin buys clothes and I get them. I'm like, honey, I am not the small. Like, I mean, I appreciate it, but like, I feel like a sausage in the, I can't, I can't close I can't button these pants. I can't, I can't, yeah. like now I feel fat. Now I feel fat. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. I look very uh, pale in the lighting I'm in right now. And all I can think is that I really need to get a tan. But it's pretty, it's winter coloring. For some reason, this is like putting some weird, like glow. Situation. I am not this color. I'm, this is I'm, way too saturated for me. I am vampiric right now. I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I definitely do look pale. I did notice that my makeup is paler than my skin too. I'm like, I don't know what's happening in my, my world of coloration. I but like being, I like being pale. <laughs> Brian said, how can I get guys to buy me clothes is going to drastically change this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do I work that out? Uh, yes, Terry, your porcelain skin looks glamorous. Thank you. Thank says you so Laura. Much. I didn't say that. I didn't. I didn't. I don't. Make my face look statuesque. No, you can't have a statuesque face. What's the word I want for my face? When your features look good in the light. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's a word for it. <laughs> I don't know. It's an old school thing. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if my light is like. I kind of wonder if there is some coloring to my ring light that I haven't figured out yet. I haven't played with it enough yet. I don't know. Victorian aristocrat. Thanks. Oh, my mom's here. Everyone behave yourself. My mom is here. Mothers are in the house. Both moms are here. We have to behave. Wait, you're not allowed to come to happy hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, no parents should be allowed at happy hours. Mom, That's this is old. your bulb. I made this one for you. It's a two lane bulb. It's a two lane bulb. It's a two lane bulb. I two lane just two lanes. <laughs> I just caught up in the fact that the Rams lost last night to the Seahawks. And now I don't, maybe don't like the Seahawks as much. So yeah, to hell with the Seahawks. Yeah, it's detrimental to my Seahawk love. Last night, I was so happy with myself with my gift game last night. And no <laughs> one was playing, no one was playing along. I'm going to continue this on. So last night, okay, guys, fantasy football, just a tiny little smidge of a thing. Hello. Thank, thank you, you Summer Test. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys, from the copy room. Tiny little smidge of a thing that happened is we had Corey Davis who was with the Titans who was going to be playing in Green Bay and we clipped over to that channel and it's a blizzard. And yes. I text, I text my mom and the games have been really close. I text my mom and I say, I say that, uh, well, Corey Davis might not get any points because it's a blizzard over there. I said, it's like the opening of the whiz. And so then every single gif I sent was a whiz gif and, oh, it, I, and, yes. and 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 the thing was i was giggling and i'm like my mom will be able to hear i was thinking i was telling justin like my mom will be able to hear this gif tara's gonna be like what the hell is going on like i'm sure you've seen the whiz but can you but do you have any idea what's happening when when you see nipsey russell's face do you understand that that means he's crying in the next seconds going a teeny no, my mom can hear Nipsey Russell crying in the next sentence. She knows the line that's being delivered on that on that picture. So it's going to continue today. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it gets better because I've used up all the sad whiz gifts that are okay. out there. Yeah, we still have. Well, OK, so I checked in today after the, the craziness that was yesterday. I checked in today again and sat down and watched some some highlights and stuff to catch up and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 I saw I saw where we're at like we just need our kicker 10 points really do well 11 10 or 11 is it 10 10 i think it's 10 maybe whatever doesn't matter it's that it's that whatever it's that 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 double digit number is what we need so we're like i mean it's not no it's not that's not he's projected at eight so it's not yeah we're, um, not, we're not projected to win it's not but cory da cory davis did get zero points in the snow. I know. I know. I think he got targeted once. It was yeah. a bad game. No. Ten to win, nine to tie. Trisha and Margaret try stuff. They're doing a spin-off show. Yeah. So after after we do the Bryce and Amanda spin-off, then it's our moms. We're gonna capture that that, you know, older female demographic we need so much. <laughs> yes. Oh Check. my gosh. 
Well, and it's funny because my mom did the, um, she, well, she called me today asking, she was, is that red wine, hot chocolate actually good? Like she does this every once in a while. She'll call me after an episode airs and goes, is that actually any good? Like she called me about the Kool-Aid pickles. She ended up making the Kool-Aid pickles yeah. um, for the office. I think they, I think they went with, they did, they went cherry, I think. Yeah, cherry stuff. salad. Yeah. Cherry salad. That's a good one. Or maybe it wasn't cherry. She doesn't like cherry. So they went with strawberry. It was like one of the, something oh, like that. No, because like, no, the cherry, for so many people, cherry winds up tasting like cough medicine. To me, it yeah. doesn't. But most mm-hmm. people, it does. So the grape ones were good. I do remember that. The grape ones were surprisingly good. Yeah. Yeah, surprisingly. The hibiscus were good. Yeah. And then so today she's like, well, I, I don't really drink red wine anymore, but I do have some red wine at home and some coffee, <laughs> some, some hot chocolate packets. Should I make this, Natalie? Yes. Yes. Like, yes. The off, answer is yes. We have a very hard time lying on the show. Like if we don't like something, we're going to say we don't like it. I mean, we may find the silver lining. We will mm-hmm. try to keep things upbeat. We'll always make fun of ourselves before we'll make fun of something. Mm-hmm. But if we, especially a food thing, if we say we like it, we like it. Like that hot chocolate was good. That was so yeah. good. Yeah. And, and mom did ask and I said, I, yeah, we, we had one, we didn't have a second one, you no, know, it's not one that you're going to like, okay. you don't need, you're not going to be drinking these all day. No, they're, no. they're sweet, but yeah, it's a dessert. Like I yeah. a meal. I want this comforting, warm, dessert. Mm -hmm. I can't drink that much hot chocolate to begin with. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you normally have many cups of hot cocoa. You just have the one. Yeah. But if you, I mean, if everybody's coming up, like not this year, cause this doesn't happen, but <laughs> in the future, in if the you're future. all about to go, you're going to make your hot cocoa to go caroling. Uh-huh. Everybody oh pour it into your mugs yeah. and add the red wine. Yeah, it's so definitely delicious. Amazing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, oh, Hey, before we get any deeper, do you want to ask the questions three? So that it's not yeah. just the last 10 seconds of us going, oh crap, there was three questions to ask. All right, all right, we're almost halfway. So let's do, let's do, uh, all right, back it up. Explanation. So for those of you who are just now tuning in and don't know what's about to happen to you, every time we do one of these ridiculous happy hour live streams, we pick a winner. We pick a winner and we send you a box of goodies. And oh. most of the time it will make it to you and <laughs> the other person. <laughs> Most of the time it works out. Post office, not me. All right. So nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. So most of the time we send you a box of goodies. When I say it's a box of goodies, it's actually a box of junk. To and maybe a Christmas bulb. It's it's treasure. Death Star Christmas bulb. Yes. It's treasures from the episode that we ju- from the episodes we just made, some stuff from past episodes. Whenever we travel, we pick up trinkets, I pick up pens, we things that we've made, resin jewelry, whatever. It's gonna be a box of fun stuff. The biggest thing you're gonna win is a buttload of narrow gum. We're gonna send you a bunch of narrow gum. That's the real prize that you're gonna get. Now, Not to be used as an enema. <laughs> no, that's the prize. So to qualify for said prize, we're going to ask you three questions. Answer them however you want. Honestly, I don't care. And if they sound like we're fishing for your passwords, we are. I want your bank info. We actually don't care if you make up the answers. You know, no, I really don't care. Just answer. We just want the algorithmy comments. <laughs> we'll work it out the algo. But here's we're going to answer these questions in the comment section. In not, the comments. Not this thing that's happening on the side over here. Now. now is not the time. We will never find your answer in the chat. We tried mm-hmm. it once, didn't go well. Don't answer in the chat. After we get done with this whole entire live stream, come back and then answer uh, answer in the in the, the 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 comment box below, and we'll post the questions maybe also in the description box. Sure, box. sure. No, we'll pin it on the top. We'll pin it. Yeah, a it, comment it, on the it, top. It, if we okay. Oh, I just went through. Hold on, time time out time out. I just went through and took like twelve uh, old pl- uh, shush, shushes and put them on. <laughs> The off of public, they were all still alive. <laughs> okay, it was four. It was four of them, Real but there good. were so many of them was that it were not. All this last month, or was it mixed in? This is all this last month. I'm gonna say because it was this last month because it was so chaotic. I this know. whole last month, they were all still alive, and I was like, oh, yeah, we left shushes up way longer yep. than mm-hmm. we should. 
You're welcome. You're Anyways, welcome. so question three, don't answer not now. You can chit chat if you like, but don't forget to come back and answer officially. And I will, I'm gonna start making a point. I will heart your answer, your answers to the question so that you know that you're in the running. So go. Okay, the questions we have put together are <laughs> number one, what? For once, we actually thought ahead on this. We it's actually good more. that we wrote them down because we never remember what they were either. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one, what is your favorite holiday movie? And I think we do mean Christmas holiday, not Christmas. like- Hey, I was at the store today and they already had out Valentine's Day stuff. I will murder snow. <laughs> what is no. happening? What is no. happening? No. Okay, favorite holiday movie. Which Tara, what's your favorite holiday that? movie? A Scrooge. It's I watched. Really? It I love Scrooge. I've been watching. We'll go back to It's a Wonderful Life after this because I'm afraid I will talk too long. You got to Yeah, you got to You got some I, things you want to say I about it. I got. I got. I got some unpopular. She's got beef. <laughs> I got a hot. Got take. beef. I got a hot take. <laughs> we'll come back, but I, you know, I've been rewatching holiday movies, and I really do love Scrooge. I, th I think it's one of the better holiday movies. Continue. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna still go with uh, Santa Claus the movie, the Dudley Moore one. I um, watched that. It's really it's, good. I love it. I mean, it's just yeah. that's the it's most. Sweet. That's the most um, nostalgic one for me. Yeah, it took longer than my memory to get to present day and to get to that coke scene it's really interesting oh like, yeah oh I yeah i've forgotten so much about them that, that whole intro yeah traveling. yeah i watched it at the, my hotel room in between mm. traveling yeah anyways continue question number two where do you work in the office so like tara is the executive assistant you know and this is my boss's office yeah, I mean, you can tell us where you really work in your real office if you yeah. do work in an office, or you can make up your place in the office. Uh, I am the temp receptionist uh, who has been here for way too long and okay. and is the one that is pulling all the office pranks and no one knows it yet. Uh, <laughs> yep. That sounds right. And I'm stealing scissors every chance I get. <laughs> Why are there never any scissors? <laughs> It's weird how often we've bought scissors for this company. Yeah, this company goes through a lot of scissors. Do, uh, yeah. Question number three, uh, on New Year's, do you make it to midnight? I <laughs> Do you make it to you. midnight? Well, this last year, so this last year, oh my God, this is so funny. So this last year I bartended uh, at, at uh, my old job. And Ficus came in. Ficus came in with Jason C. Brown and all the boys in that group. After, after, after I had already left, <laughs> you you had come and gone, and and you and I actually think that Jason sent you a picture of all of which is like one of my favorite pictures of Jason. It's on my phone as his because his face is so sweet. Yeah, uh, he sent you a picture and you sent back a picture of you guys on the couch. On the couch <laughs> in pajamas already. Like we were already fully ready to be asleep what? so yeah i i make it to midnight but i make it to midnight from my couch yeah i wake it oh i love i like i like to wrap around so our, all these boyfriends of ours boyfriends all these male friends of ours come into this bar and like i'm i've encouraged like come in i'll, I'll take care of you we'll give you free drinks whatever so they've come from another party which i didn't really clock until way later yeah and like i'm just like i'm bringing them out free drinks every once in a while i'm helping them hit on girls and stuff like i'm doing the whole thing and one of our one of our male friends i will not mention his name because it's very embarrassing he was very very tipsy hitting on every girl in the room and at one point he winds up getting this girl like zero ins on him and like i'm like cool great whatever you want to do like that good for you and like ficus and i are talking to each other so it wasn't ficus it wasn't ficus it's was another another man i'm right narrowing there. it down <laughs> i'm playing clue right now I'll, i've got I'll, one checked i'll off. tell you later i'll tell you later <laughs> but i'm not gonna see it publicly but and it's ficus and i are talking across the bar and he's like i don't to do or like what to do about what like he's he's picked up a girl that's the objective of the night like i'm here to help you that's my job this is the goal little sister here is here as your wingman like i've done my right. job I think this is like like doing all this thing and they're they're definitely not able to take care of themselves anymore so i'm already playing babysitter in many ways and like 
I don't know what's going on. I can't tell. And I finally have to like sneak him away and pull him aside and be like, do you want to go home with this girl? <laughs> and he's like, uh-uh. And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? And he's like, I, I'm, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, what do you want? I was like, I want to go to Ficus's. Like, okay. Oh. So I had to, I had to like, <laughs> and so I'm, I'm bartending. So I get, I like perk of bartending. My friends get to stay after with me for a bit, like while yeah. I'm clean and stuff. So I, we kick everybody out and I'm trying to get rid of her and I can't get rid of her. I'm like, shit. And like, without being incredibly rude to her. Cause she's like, all into our friend yeah like, oh, i don't know what to do and then uh she, they she goes to the bathroom so i go 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 i'm like on and out calling an uber i scurry them aside and hide <laughs> them she comes out from the bathroom she's like where did they go and i'm like i don't know but your friends are outside now because in the middle of all this i'm like get them out her yeah friends got them out got them at, and, then, and then i'm like give me your give me your phone give me your phone i had to take the phone from them and like call the uber for them and they kept trying <sighs> to get the phone back like absolutely not nope i got you i'm like mm -mm. <laughs> babysitting our dude friends the funny such a fun story i kind of had a kick out of doing it because i like being little sister very fun yeah that was we were last year we were there at the we were there earlier yeah, I had gotten Justin actually out of the house. <laughs> it was really just an excuse to get dressed up. And then <laughs> and then it was like, yeah, we're done. As soon as it started to get busy, we're like, mm -mm, going home. Mm -mm. Like, yeah, like I, you know, I mean, I like to I like just hang out at bars and I like to yeah. stay out late and everything. I don't like it being that crowded, though. Like, I don't normally do New got, Year's at a bar or anything. It got really yeah. busy that night. It was a, it was, you know, probably one of the last New Year's I'll ever work at a bar. And it was it was packed. It was fun. It was a fun night. Like I, I kind of like when it's that busy because it's, yeah. it's goes by quickly. It's fun. There's a party atmosphere to it. And I'm pretty good at wrangling people clearly, mm -hmm. but you know, it gets being a customer in that situation is not as fun because you can't get to the bar to get your drinks and you know, yeah. Yeah. That's what, I mean, you aren't behaving yourself and you're not able to do anything about it. I mean, I like to stay at a bar till close when it's empty. Yeah, like I am. I am the dive bar. Yeah, you know, just being yeah. too loud for everyone else in the room. Yeah, it's uh, a patient, I'm yeah. chasing the other people out. They don't want to be there anymore because the two girls in the corner are being loud. They, they call you the customer. singing show tunes randomly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my as a customer. That's my preferred scenario. Like I like things to be like let like I like crowd, but like not. I don't like the club, and I don't like that. Yeah, terms of people feeling. I'd rather be able to hear people and stuff. Yeah, but, but I do like I do like being the bartender in the situation, and I don't mind playing babysitter all night. It's kind of fun. I'm good at it. No. So like, do you want to go home with her? <laughs> Cracks me. <up>. No. <laughs> no. No. Then what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> alcohol uh, that's what do you you're want doing. do you want to rant about um <gasps> it's a wonderful it's a <laughs> oh y'all just thought i'm still wearing jeans okay so listen listen i i long ago decided i did not enjoy it's a wonderful life and i couldn't remember why that was no. and so this year i'm feeling very nostalgic about just life and i wanted to watch some good things and it's a wonderful life was free so i put it on while i'm doing something else and i'm watching it Here's the thing. Why do we like this movie? George Bailey is he's not nice. No, he's no. a dick. He's not redeemable. Like he, okay, yes. At the end of the movie, he's like, oh my God, my life is wonderful. I no longer want to die. And things worked out. But all along the way, you, George Bailey, were a part of the decision-making process and everything in your life. You got in there and you said, no, I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to be a part of this choice. And then you get mad in the middle of it. Let's just go back to one specific instance. The scene where he's, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'm sorry. My mom knows. She's Spoiler already, alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. My mom's had to listen to this rant three times already. So there's a scene where George Bailey is is on the, is he, he and the love interest, I forget her name already, Mary or whatever, are Mary. on the phone with her 
her boyfriend and the boyfriend's talking to both of them and they're like this close and it's very sweet and intimate and like he's like falling in love with her because she smells so nice and all this stuff and then out of nowhere george bailey flips starts yelling at her shakes yeah. her like a bad baby and tells her how much he doesn't want to get married and then kisses her i think that's actually my problem is her character okay like exactly i don't treatment yeah like that i think that i would if she slapped him and he had to like like, I'm like, every time he's a dictator, I'm like, mm, bye. You're accepting this behavior? Mm -mm. Yeah. He's like shaking her. Like, what are, I don't want to get buried and I don't want to do this thing and I don't want to do it. Kiss. And now we're getting married. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> Can you all hear that? Yeah. So okay. we watched, we watched a new, sorry, did you, did you want to continue yelling about it? <laughs> He comes home from from I'm a hard day at the mill. I don't know, yelling at some poor guy for lo some yelling at some poor man who's older for losing money. Well, I mean, you lose eight thousand dollars. You kind of deserve to get yelled at. Stuff. You get yelled at. Yes, yes, yes. But like, that's not going to help. The man's already crying. So, yeah, but you don't. Yeah. And takes it out on his kids. And he's like, yeah, yes, he didn't slap his children around until their ears bled, like what happened to him when he was a kid. But he's still yelling at his kid to stop playing the piano, who had nothing to do with anything. And kid's like, just help, Dad. He's so sad. I just don't want him to have no more. And we're all like, yay, George Bailey. And meanwhile, in the movie, he's not like, listen, Mary, I'm so good. I'm so sorry. I was a I was a mean man and a jerk, and I'm gonna be nicer from now on. I'm gonna own up to the choices in my life that I'm making. No, he just says an angel got its wings, and we all <laughs> hold on. One foot in the Ow. wild says that. Hold on. One foot in the wild said that Jimmy Stewart was actually going through PTSD during the filming of the movie, <sighs> and many of his breakdowns were real. Okay, why did we? It was very him cathartic go? for him. <laughs> However, I did see something recently. I will say the one thing, the, the two things that I think are very interesting about It's a Wonderful Life. I'm not, I'm still not going to go yeah. that it was a good movie. Um, is that they had to invent a new kind of snow. Yes, that is cool. That's, that's genius. They invented snow because up until then they were painting cornflakes and throwing them in the air. <laughs> Which a lot of people, painting cornflakes is pretty stupid. I mean, that's a, I mean, a lot of people lost jobs. The cornflake painters lost jobs. But the other thing that I thought was super interesting is that was filmed in the middle of summer. And so there's scenes where they're sweating and it's like, you show the bank scene, like there's actual sweat dripping from his brow. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. because it is, they had to like stop filming for days because it was way too hot. Yeah. They were okay. getting, yeah. they were getting heat exhaustion like while they were filming. I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting actually. But yeah, I'm not saying I hate this movie. I do still like this movie a lot. I do, I do like the Christmas feels. I do like a lot of parts of it. I'm just saying that George Bailey is not a very nice man. And I, I don't know. Although these may have been real PTSD things, I still am just like, mm -mm. I'll take, I'll take any of the Christmas Carol stories over it. I think it's like kind of the same. It's like, the yeah. same story, but I don't know. It is, it is. With the redeeming quality of Christmas, tra la la. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just like rewatched it and was like, I don't like George. Yeah. And I, even though, even though your life was meaningful and you did do good things for people because of the actions and your choices in life, mm -hmm. you, just because you made those choices doesn't mean that you get to be a jerk in the process. You it doesn't mean I want to hang out with you. <laughs> it doesn't mean I want to hang out with you and it doesn't mean I like you. Like, thank you for saving everyone's life, everyone's money, but like, could you also not, you know, verbally abuse your children? I'm just saying. So okay. Justin and I watched, um, we watched two new Christmas movies this year. We watched Last Christmas, uh, which you're with the family that likes Hallmark movies, right? Yeah. This is not a Hallmark movie. It's much better produced and much, but it's very much on the line of Hallmark movies. Okay. Um, in it could be a Hallmark movie. It's just made better. Uh, right. <laughs> but it's it's super cute. It's uh, what's her face? The, um, Amelia Clark is that her name? Uh, oh, from. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember this. I wanted to see that. That looks it's so cute. good. It's like cute. It's really cute. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I can't tell you the movie that it reminds me of because it'll give away too much. Uh, and then the other one we watched was Fat Man <laughs> with uh, Mel Gibson. And it is, it, I, I loved it. It was, yeah. if you like Die Hard, 
Now, not, it's nowhere near as good as Die Hard. Right. But if you yeah. like Die Hard, this is the kind of this is the, this is the kind of Christmas yeah. movie you like. So it is. Um, Can it I, is mom? some kid. Thank you. Oh, bye, mom. <laughs> um, uh, if you, it's so it's about a kid who gets coal. I mean, this this rich spoiled brat gets coal in his stockings and hires a hitman to kill Santa. And uh, um, it's. I can't remember the actor's name. I think he was also in, was he also in Justified, Justin? I don't like, it's a guy from Unicorn. Okay. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know that actor's name. Um, he plays the hitman okay. and, um, and Mel Gibson is Santa. And it's, a, it's actually, I really, I thought it, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a great movie, but it was, it was really interesting to watch. I was like, I liked that. Mm -hmm. So those were our two new Christmas movies we watched. Uh, I love Christmas movies. I really do. Actually, I watched a fair amount of Hallmark movies at my mom's house. We watched, we watched Country, a uh, Country Music Christmas on Netflix, mm -hmm. which was not good, but I still really enjoyed it. The plot line went from zero to sixty. Like one minute these people just met, and the next minute they're in love. It's like. Oh, this was originally written this yeah. time over like a couple of months and they squinched it down in 10 days. Like the amount of time it took to film it is how long these people had actually known each other. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I, I just, I just love you so much. And I want to be with you for the rest of my life. I'm like, you just met, you've gone <laughs> on one miniature date and you're yeah. already in love. And then what we did watch Dolly Parton's Christmas special this year. And I love that, even though it was kind of like cheesy and a bit of cheese. Yeah. I, I, I just love Dolly Parton so much that I don't care. And it had, it had, what her, what's her name? I can't remember her name. Just when you look it up for me, she's great. She always plays like the stern older woman, female character or like the villain or whatever. Mm -hmm. She's the villain of the piece for a part of it. And she's, she's the Scrooge character and gets saved by the okay. end of it. Mm -hmm. this, little, this little town, it's called, um, it's called like mm, on the on the square christmas on the square or something like that but it was fun hmm. i i enjoyed it i actually haven't watched that many um christmas specials since i've gotten here at my dad's place it's been just kind of chaos i yeah. did watch a little bit of tv there night and then i keep watching survivor for whatever <laughs> which is such a christmas feel well i I started rewatching Survivor season ten and like we remembered that I had the biggest crush on Tom and anyone out there who has watched Survivor knows season ten, you know what I'm talking about. Tom is like this all American, older gentleman, firefighter from New York. Oh yeah. Very, like, um very leader, very athletic. Yeah, it's it's like uh Tom's cute. <laughs> so I've been I've been watching that because Tom's cute. <laughs> There's, oh, there's also, has everyone seen uh, Christmas Chronicles, which is uh, Kurt Russell as Santa Claus? Oh, yeah. So there's, a, there's a number two that just came out. I haven't seen it yet. I'm sure it's not going to oh, be good. Right. I'm sure it's not going to be good. Like, it's it, it's a given. It's a sequel to a movie that was kind of good. I copy him, you know? guy. Yeah. I yeah. copy him, guy. Um, but I do, I really did like, I mean, it wasn't great. For Christmas movie, it was good, though. Christmas yeah. Chronicles was fun. Yeah, and I it's Kurt Russell. Like them. Yeah. Even when they're cheesy, I like Christmas movies. Yeah, it feels. And I know you hate Love Actually, but I've watched it like twice. I hate Love Actually. I know you. Don't. I like Love Actually now that I've seen it four hundred million times. Yeah, there I are, still hate it for the reasons I hated it, but yeah. I'm over the fact that everyone, every relationship in it is terrible, and there's no redeeming qualities to them. But I can, I can like it a little bit more what the two the porn the two porn star stand-ins i like them their their love story is nice they're cute yeah okay the you... one i was like i like that one I, oh i love the storyline of colin firth yeah the but then no story. because they don't know anything about each other but they, like that's the same like, thing like oh no no no, no. liam neeson's storyline is really fun where he the kid him and the kid is so sweet and then it's adorable and but it's not a good really love weird. story like no, no. Your kind of love he loves his stepson so yes much. sweet oh like, i can't stand love actually yeah i Ugh. i know i love it i like i like the flawed relationships in it like i get it i i know why you don't like it i like how flawed people are and i and i also just love watching what's his name um bill nye I, huh bill nye bill nye and also Ah, Snape, and I can't think of his name all of a sudden. Mm. Can't help you. 
uh, villain in Robin Hood. You, of course, a spoon, a spoon, because it will hurt more. Um, oh God, what's his name? Snape. Somebody help me, please. Is it? I can't look it up. I don't even know what character. Oh, um, the the husband that cheats, or was gonna cheat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. He, no, I'll tell you who's amazing in that fucking movie is Emma Thompson. Yes. Emma Thompson kills. I, she does she such a good job. Kills. And I saw on our, on our YouTube, somehow it popped up like an interview about her character in that, that I really want to watch. And so, oh, no, because it's because I watched an interview. I was reading articles about an interview yeah. she just recently did okay. where yeah. she was talking about how she was talking about women's roles and how they're now, now they're not making strong heroines. All they're doing is making women into men and not, not making women strong for being women. And it's okay. not, no writer, writers aren't doing that. It was an interesting article. I'll have to read that. But I, I want to see what she said. Alan Rickman, thank you. Oh, I'm about to have a dog involved. Hold on. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, not, I'm about to have a dog. Oh, no, but it's a small child. Hi. Hey, Eve. How, How are you? No, let's not, let's not shake the ring light. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Maya is gonna see you. I'll see you later. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. I'm gonna go shut the door so I'll be right back. So just because I'm being loud. I'm talking loud, so. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. That was Linda who brought her kids too. <laughs> why is everyone, that's a rule next year. That's the new rule, no that's children. It's a new rule. The office party, there are no children allowed. For some reason, they're bringing children into the office parties. I don't understand. <laughs> well, it's because we started to, we started to provide daycare, and now they think that we provide night care too. <laughs> That's what happens. It just lies. So funny. They're Dogs so are small children. <laughs> My sister's kids are just beautiful. They're both these beautiful blonde-haired children. They're gorgeous. I'm, I'm never going to show you guys pictures, but take my word for it. They're adorable. Just now you know. Can we bring our pets? Yes, pets are allowed at the office. I could go to the Not children. and get kittens for you if you want. <gasps> Did you already get rid of my kitten? <laughs> no, the orange one with the good face? Mm -hmm. <laughs> technically, yes. Yeah, technically, we have someone who's taking the mom and the two babies that are left because she wants to keep them together. Uh -huh. but she's... I don't know what her plan is. I don't know what's going on, but I mean, if you wanted round face kitten, you could have round face kitten. Of the kittens, I, he's the best. I'm pretty sure it's I, don't, <laughs> I don't really want a kitten. I mean, I do, but I, I don't. No, but yeah, I could definitely go up and grab a baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a kitten. <laughs> right on the desk with me. For like the last 10 minutes, I can finagle the kitten here. They're a little wily, I don't know. Is there an orange one with a bad face? <laughs> well, one's got a super round face and one's got like a really lean angular face. So you know- See, I need a lean angular face one though. I already have a round face one. I just have to convince him to come inside. <laughs> yeah, I've got very much, it's very much a-, um, a uh, Orange pumpkin. kitty, pumpkin. Yeah, orange kitty. Yeah. yeah. Very much his little face. Not, not gonna be quite like him, especially based on his mom, but like much more like filled in. I think that- it's probably one of the kids. We don't know how, sorry. Sorry, I was replying to a comment. We don't know how pumpkin is right now because no one's there. But, oh, I did talk to my neighbor and she, my neighbor Angela while we were in town last time. And she said, she says, I know when you're in town because pumpkin stops showing up to eat the food I put on the porch. And so I do know that while we're not there, pumpkin's getting fed by my neighbor Angela. So she says, don't, I said, well, I, just so you know, I'm now petting him and he comes inside. She says, oh my goodness. And I said, so this cat will be mine as soon as he realizes it. And she says, well, while you're away, I'll take care of your cat. Oh, <laughs> like, I'll take care of your cat. I love yeah, it. she's very sweet. I love it. So <laughs> I have not gotten to see pumpkin in a little while, but I do know that pumpkin is getting fed by yeah. Angela. Meanwhile, I have been getting gizmo updates. Mm -hmm. She had not left the safety of under the bed. Yeah. But she's getting further away from the wall every time. She's not like right up against the wall when David goes to visit. So it's an improvement. But Has he tried to give her treats? Well, no, not really probably. And she, David's not a cat person. Like he's never had cats until his current two cats that he has now with his girlfriend. Yeah. And also Gizmo doesn't like men as much at first as women. Like she's yeah. more yeah. like, like a, a woman first before she like, th that she likes Jason is an anomaly. Yeah. And, and also Brian Ames for some reason, she loves Brett. That is- Well, 
Because she's a girl. Everyone well, loves Brian Ames. Brian's gorgeous. <laughs> Uh, we're Men about, and women like Brian Ames. We're talking about the the man who played the Pink Bunny in Imaginary Friends. In Imaginary I Friends, we all agree that Gizmo is not wrong. Um, but <laughs> yes, so you know, progress is slow for Gizmo. But I promise, David, like just keep coming to my house, and eventually she'll fall because he's he's so gung ho about. Gizmo. Well, I have to say, when when the last time you guys were gone and um, Hannah took care of Gizmo the first week, and yeah. I could tell he did not come out while she was there. Yeah. But by the time I got there, it was that first day was still kind of iffy. But by the like by the last couple of days, he she did want to be around people. Like she doesn't like to be around people anyway. So let alone she's not going to come out and hang out with strangers. But no. you know, she she does not. Good. The only time she's ever come out for a stranger was Brian Ames. She came right out, and I don't know why. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, Gizmo adores Brandon. Brandon yeah. is like Brandon is Gizmo's favorite person on the planet. Like she just cannot more than me. She's I am mom, and I am yeah. mom, cleaner of faces and clipper of claws. But Brandon can do no wrong. She thinks that man hung the moon. <laughs> uh <laughs> oh your dog you can hear my dog it's going i was like i can't hear it but oh uh, yeah i hear him in the background that's jasper 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 has chosen me to sleep with every night since i've been oh is that jasper yeah i saw the picture that's a cute dog he's so sweet so the first night he like like we were we were on our own for a bit so he came and joined me you know and mm -hmm. then just stayed with me the whole night and then last night I walk into my bedroom and he's already on my bed. I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this again. And then last night, I think he also like, he f he'll fully lay out completely next to me and then put his head on my lap. Like, all up against me for all the warmth he can possibly. Pull. All the warmth. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And then and <laughs> and is Jasper a dog <laughs> or is Jasper the boss? <laughs> yeah, the boss. And he likes me. Yeah. I, uh, he kind of he kind of favors me a little bit. So now Jasper and I are buddies, and I took him for walks and stuff. So he and I have become buddies. Jasper, Jasper and I, we as we as friends. My cat is getting more funny towards other people. Yeah, it it's well, I mean, God, I guess most sometimes is nicer, and sometimes she's meaner. She's weird. she's she's gotten. I I feel like she's gotten. She she went through a phase when she was young. She was comfortable with people, like she's, not like she didn't want to. She she came out. She still didn't want you to touch her or anything, but she would come yeah. running through the house and tear through yeah. and attack things right. and yeah. then You're run away. Smaller yeah. Things then. yeah. But then, and then she went through a long phase of like not wanting to be out when people are there at all. And now she's kind of gotten a little more comfortable with. Yeah. Especially since with you and the treats, she's like, all right, yeah. well. Well, she, I mean, she knows my voice. She knows my voice means treats. She knows you. Wow. But Justin came over, Justin had come over last time mm -hmm. and she came out while Justin she's was not, there too. And she's not really familiar with Justin because usually Justin has only come over for parties and stay, stayed in the front of the house. So she's not familiar with him. Mm -hmm. So that is, and then he's a male that is unusual that she came out. So she heard you and she's like, well, treats I get with that voice. So yeah, it's I'm worth gonna, it. I'm going to hedge my bets. And then she just, she didn't run for it, which is normally her MO. She just kind of sauntered yeah. back to the bedroom and was like, no. Oh, Desiree. Uh, Desiree said, I hope Pumpkin found someplace warm. Uh, Angela told me she also had bought one of those little igloos and put catnip in there so that, uh, so because she's like, it's got a cold recently. So she bought one of those igloo pet houses and it oh. put catnip in there so that Orange Kitty would go in there. So Orange Kitty does have a warm place uh -oh. as well. So. Oh. Yeah, the neighborhood loves Orange Kitty. He's a little yeah. sweetheart, and he has the cutest little mew. He does have a really cute little mew. Oh. Until, until he's running across the yard going, meow, meow, you're back. <laughs> well, we did have a debate with this stray cat. What what was a girl and what was a boy? We're like checking the kittens, trying to figure out what was a girl and what was a boy, and like, we can't tell. It's like trying to sex a chicken, and we don't know. Like, I can't, no. I can't figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Or a chick, it's trying right. to sex a chick. Like just, I don't, how do you do that? How do you even figure that out? Yeah, I'm no. Yeah, idea. you just have to wait till they have a baby or don't. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'm like throw my whole world off because the mom is an orange cat, and I'm like, well, wait a minute. My whole yeah. entire growing up thought that mostly male, mostly orange cats are male, which I'm sure. Yeah. Is true, but like now, nah, I'm looking at an evidence that that's yeah. not necessarily. That's true. not always true. <laughs> yeah. So what? Now you're gonna tell me calicos can be male? What's happening right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, I've had an orange. Uh, Marla was an uh, yeah. was orange, and she was yeah. a, a goyle. Um, goyle. 
when I, when our kitten, when we got, we got a kitten when we were, uh, when I was a kid, my first cat was an orange cat, a big fluffy. He looked like, um, well, his brother's name was Garfield. Our neighbor got his brother. Um, but we brought him home thinking it was a girl and named it flower. And then, <laughs> and then found out it was a boy <laughs> and then just kept the name. You can call me flower. If you exactly. Want. That was our thought process. We kept the name and it was a boy named flower and he was my cat and he loved me. And my mom thinks that orange kitty is flower. Oh, he thinks pumpkin is flower coming and finally finding me again. Justin, you literally know what I'm talking about. Trying to text a chicken. You know, literally know what I'm talking about. I'm picking that from that book you told me to read, which I like. I mean, this, the, uh, uh, walking on the moon with Einstein or it's Einstein and moonwalking or moonwalking with Einstein. Clearly my memory is not improved by reading this book. <laughs> Whoever it's a book about memory champions. Is there like kind of like doing a chess champion? There's a memory contest where people compete to have the best memory. And you do things like memorize faces, memorize faces and names, memorize a deck of cards, the order that it goes and stuff like that. And this whole book's about how to become not really how, but how people become better at memory. And there's a whole section that explains uh, that certain people can, uh, by looking at a chick, can sex a chick, and that's a specialty. Like being able to sex a chick is a very specialized skill. And in, in Japan, there's- like Is a it a school. job? Can you get a job sexing yeah. chicks? You can get a job sexing chicks. You get paid so many, so many cents per chick that you sex, and, <laughs> and correctly, I think, or something like that. And then, um, <laughs> it's like to to have this job in Japan, I think, creates the best chicken sexers. Sounds wrong. Uh, yeah. This all okay. sounds wrong. This it's, is going to get us like flagged. A, it's, like a, it's like a three year program. This video is demonetized already, uh, Tara. <laughs> I thought you were monetized to begin with. It's, it is, um, it's, uh, and you get paid really good money to, to sex a chick. <laughs> Just saying. There it is. That's the info. Jesse, you know, you literally know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Every man just raised his hand. It's called a gigolo. They made a whole movie about it. Several, I'm thinking. Several, several of them. Uh, there was something else that I, <laughs> I'm, I'm on a, I'm, I, I'm, I turned the not zoom on I have I'm watching the live stream right now and so you're randomly flailing wildly <laughs> instead of like you're not saying anything you're just heads flopping and yeah, Melinda said something about our stream not looking very good and I flipped over too to check to check yeah that's so what I was looking I was like wait what what I don't yeah. I think it's fine it's fine it may be no, your that's just what our face looks like that's just what my that, face that's looks literally like. what my face looks like I'm so sorry it's just it's <laughs> what's happening here my and, face only comes across in 360 <laughs> what, what is the lowest one? Is Zoom probably so bad now? Is it? Eh, eh. Oh, no. Uh, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going to repeat these questions so that oh, we yeah, have no. them fresh. Oh, but then I'm going to do our elf names. Um, questions three, one. What? And you, you put these in the description box. Nope. Put these in comment the box. comment box. Yeah. You, you don't have you don't have access to the description you don't have box. access to our description box. Three questions. One favorite holiday movie, and by holiday we mean Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> or no, you know what? Do you, you have a favorite Hanukkah movie? Go for it. it. That works too. Hanukkah. I'm, I'm in. Favorite yeah. December holiday movie. It has to fall in that parameter. Uh, number two. Where do you work in this office? Because I need to know. We need to put it on your name badge. Or in the office that you actually work in. Oh my Just god! Curious. We can make him an actual name badge. Yeah, I mean, we have Tara, who is. A, I like how we're just both assistants. I like how we gave ourselves yeah, really crappy why jobs. For ourselves? Why don't we make either of us in charge? Because I didn't go to college. <laughs> I can't have a real job. I'm not tech savvy, and I didn't go to college, so I'm just an entry level. <laughs> This is all based on some rant I went on about the boss being cute. Mm -hmm. Now here mm -hmm. I am in his mm -hmm. office. Either that, or I would work. I would work in the warehouse. <laughs> I would like that job. That seems. I fun. bet it's cold. Well, I feel like the warehouse is cold, and I don't want to be there. The warehouse is cold, and you would hate it. Mm -mm. And then what's the third question? Third question: Do you make it to midnight? <laughs> um, she needs on New on New Year's. <laughs> on New Year's, do you <laughs> make it to midnight, or are you one of those that falls asleep early? Are you like? 
like I am where I am on my couch there, and but- strikes and I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Go. Done. You know, like Justin's asleep next to me. Justin's asleep on the couch. He does not make it to midnight. And just to catch up, if you're just now joining us, those questions that you're answering, you're going to put those in the comment box below after this video ends. You can chat about them now, but we won't see it in the chat. At, in the comment box and what you're what you're doing, what you're playing for is we're going to send you a box of goodies from the episodes we just filmed, from past episodes, and a ton of neuro gum. That's really Maybe this piece of cheese, if I don't eat it by the end of the episode. I'm not sending them cheese. Essentially, not cut up a not corner of baby bell from your finger. I don't eat bell. it. <laughs> no, you'll get things like the Christmas balls that are on the tree behind her, uh, resin jewelry, just stuff from the episodes that we just did. Maybe some stuff from our travels. We always pick up goodies, uh, spoons and pins and spoons decorative pins, John. Pins, John. Uh, just travel and goodies and stuff that's happened in the past. So previous winners can attest to the crappiness of the box and the wonderfulness of the gum. <laughs> ben said to his number two is, where do you work at the office? At my desk. <laughs> so I get all of my work done. <laughs> what department, office? what is your job at the office? What is your job at the office? What is your job? I'm not really sure what it is I do, except for answer the phone and, and look cute, but I You do. pick up the dry cleaning? Are <gasps> you one of those? Uh-huh. I do the coffee. I get the coffee. He likes I don't have to do that kind of stuff. I file my nails at my desk and answer the phone and try to pretend like I'm a nice person sometimes. I call and gossip with you sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A lot of times. Uh mm -hmm. I mean, I send emails and stuff, you know, I I keep a schedule. I, which is whatever. That's kind of it. That's what I do. It's a good job. (laughs) It's a good job. <laughs> it pays well. It gets medical. I do get medical. I have dental. I love my dental. My teeth look really good, Nancy. I got all this done. Much better. It was not good when I got here. These were when awesome. I got hired. <laughs> <laughs> my teeth were not as cute. And I worked my way up from the receptionist desk. All Deborah, the to this my desk. sister is the supply chain spe- strategist. That's a specialist, which is true. Yes. And she said yeah. it's because she said she's the person who has to keep buying the scissors when I steal them. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yup. I make office work 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 look good. That's my job. That is true. That is my job. Yeah. Oh, elf name. I had to oh, pick elf name. Go. Elf name Go. No, I don't even name. I had to pick one and then and send a link. So vamp. Okay. My earbud keeps doing this weird thing as it adjusts in my ear and it like makes a rubbing noise and it makes me want to kill people. It is yeah. this voices in my head situation. Pretty terrible. Oh, so let's talk about this real quick while she's doing it. So uh, happy hour party that we're doing right now, this little wrap party. This is the end of our fourth year on the channel, the end of the fourth season of Try Stuff. We're wrapping up a lot of things, which is really exciting. We got through another year together. It's not just the end of the month. It is the end of the year, which is pretty exciting that we did this again go us uh heading into next year we're pretty excited we're going to be working on we're going to keep try stuff going again for another year we love doing the show we've got lots of great stuff coming up we will be repopulating the amazon wish list as the year goes by we're going to kind of keep a shorter leash on that to make sure that uh stuff comes out in more timely fashion and we're kind of able mm-hmm. to instead of way. doing a cookie gun a year after it was received and forgetting <laughs> how we got said cookie gun. Thank you. Where did this cookie gun come from? I mean, listen, we just. This is not my beautiful house. We were just never prepared for the amazing generosity of all of you guys and all all the letters and messages and and Instagram messages and Facebooks. We just were never prepared for any of that stuff. So, put that on a resolution list to figure out how to control that better. Uh, so we are going to do that. But also now that we're going to try and start getting things back up and rolling, we are going to start trying to make more scripted content in the next year. We have a lot of song parodies that Natalie has written that we want to tackle. We've got sketch ideas that we want to start doing. So be prepared to see stuff that isn't necessarily try stuff taking those slots up as we move forward this year. I know you guys love try stuff but our heart and soul really is in scripted comedy. So until mm-hmm. we have a better infrastructure 
where we can put out try stuff regularly and scripted stuff, just be prepared that sometimes we will take that slot and put in a sketch or something funny. And I promise something. you'll love it because we don't we don't do things that aren't good. That's just who he is. It's he true. Is. It's true. Okay, Tara, I've got one. Okay. I've I've landed on a elf name generator. <laughs> got it. Okay. It's an easy one. It's only got two questions. It's only the first letter of your name and the month you were born. So there might be a little bit of overlap in here for people. A lot of people are related. There's a lot of, you know, last names that are going to be the same because there's only 12 months. Uh, but here we go. I'm going to link this into Z, D, the, the chat. chat. Jeremy has recovered. I checked on him recently. He's doing very well. His mother has been attending to his bedside. Uh, we do not know about the next drinking game, but when and if that happens, we will keep you posted. Don't know. Sometimes January is a quiet month for us on that front because a lot of us want to um, not drink for a bit after the holidays. Yeah. Speaking of which, my drink is on the south side of the levee, so I'll be right back. Well, how am I going to ask you your name, Generate? I'll just do it without you. You'll find out when you get back. Okay. Well, you can tell me mine and then I'll come back. Yours right now, Tara. Tara, your elf name, first letter of your first name is T. I know that much. You are Sugar Plum. <gasps> sugar Plum, I like that. Sugar Plum, you're the month you were born, February. You mm -hmm. are Sugar Plum Floppy Feet. <laughs> What's the second one determined by? I said the month you were born in. Oh, of oh, tea, tea and month. Sorry, I was half listening and reading the ones that are already rolling in. Sugar Plum Floppy Feet is your name. Sugar Plum Floppy Feet. That's it. Mine oh, is feet. mine is Buddy Twinkle Toes. <gasps> See, ours are both about our feet. <laughs> feet, lots of feet. Twinkle Toes. That makes sense. Mine are floppy because I'm a proper size for my height and mm -hmm. size. Yours are so small. You're dying in yoga. Uh huh. Twinkle Toes. <laughs> yeah, literally. Be right back. You need a right. yeah. Go get your beverage. Be right back. Bam. Let's see what Nipper Twinkle Toes. That's kind of funny. Elf name Happy Glitter Balls. No, it's not. Was Glitter Balls an option? I think you're making that up. I have to go look. Was Glitter Balls? Glitter Balls was an option. Okay, got it. This is just actually now I know all your guys' first names and I know what month you were born. Uh. <laughs> Cookie snow bum. Actually, I like that one. I like snow bum. Tara is Aquarius, I believe. She actually doesn't know. And it changed when, I don't know if you guys remember the whole, uh, the signs are different because they should be constantly shifting and where it is now versus where it was then or something. And Tara's Tara's sign changed to, I think she changed to Pisces. I am still Sagittarius. Uh, perky pointy ears. I think that one's cute. Happy festive fingers. Um, per, oh, it's pointy. Wait, oh, point. I, got it. I think I said that right. Uh, it's getting rough out there. <laughs> That's why we're not going out there anymore. The party is getting wild. I'm going to tell like, you what. I like how we come to the ho holiday party and tuck ourselves away in our office and hide from everyone. <laughs> That's pretty much how it would be. Yeah. It is a trap. Natalie is stealing personal info. Every time we do this, guys, I do write all this info down and I'm saving it so that I can steal all your guys' identities. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's literally what we want this for. Uh -huh. Steal your identities. Because what's your favorite Christmas movie is what they ask for your bank account. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That could be That could be a password, though. The way all the passwords are now where it's like, what, who was your first high school crush? Right. Who, and you're like, I, I, this is, these are things like, who was your childhood best friend? I'm like, what childhood? Do you mean like my young, young childhood? Do right. you mean like my middle school years? Do you mean, I, I had a different best friend every year. They, I left them. They didn't leave me. <laughs> what, 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 mom, mom, what are you doing? Pretty much. Nothing. Somebody asked if you were an Aquarius, what if you were Aquarius? Oh, or I am an Aquarius. Age of Aquarius, yes, it is my But you're age. not anymore, Tara, remember? No, 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 they took it back. Didn't you they hear? They took it back. <laughs> they took it back, it wasn't true. They're like, oh, we were wrong. Uh, we were wrong, everyone go back to your original horoscopes. So, so they took it back again? Yes. <laughs> who did? The, whoever said it in the first place, I forget, I forget who said it, but like they took it back, like, oh, we were wrong. It's actually, I don't know. We were wrong, it didn't shift over time. The planets haven't moved. Apparently, 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 
it, the plants have shift, but it didn't have an effect based on blah, blah, blah. I read an article about it. I could not re repeat it to you, especially not after two white claws, but like. No, I'll tell you what happened was someone was like, I am not turning into a Pisces. I will figure out the science behind this. Not a Pisces. I will figure science, out. Science. It was you. It was you, wasn't it? Science denier. <laughs> Well, I am not, what was I? No, I, I became a Capricorn. I am not a Capricorn. <laughs> That's a large shift, isn't it? It's not happening. Capricorn, it's Capricorn Aquarius. It's right next to mm. each other, I think. Right? Capricorn comes after Sagittarius, so. I am, yeah. yeah okay. It just I, seemed like it was, oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, because you're early February. I, so. I, have, I have no idea, honestly. Mm -hmm. Don't know. I, like, I find all that stuff really fun. Like, I find all the... Here's what this this crystal does. Like that's fun and cute, but mostly like, no. <laughs> if you believe it, that's awesome. I I'm, I believe your belief is what matters. But for me, I'm just like, yeah, the rocks and those are stars, and it's great. Those fun. are rocks and those are stars, and, and those fun. are and those are cards and those are <laughs> and that's a crystal ball. <laughs> the one thing I did look at for you for Christmas is buying you like stack upon stack of affirmation cards. Mm -hmm. I was looking at different decks, like like trying to figure out what to send you that would work for our upcoming, I'm forcing this, I'm gonna shove this into schedule, our upcoming Affirma Affirmation Tuesdays where Natalie comes on for 20 minutes and uh, she does your affirmations for you. You just tell her, hey, I like my affirmation for the week, go great, and she'll pull it for you. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. uh, that's what you your mantra your mantra and your okay i did look up the difference between mantra and affirmation though by no. the way affirmations are shorter and they're things you repeat to yourself so that's okay. why your cards are mantra sorry i, I think i said that right. mantras are that okay. um mantras are short and they're things you repeat to yourself the words coming originally from um from meditation and uh okay. like the words like so, so even alms and the sounds that are you do during meditations are mantras as well it's the sounds and the uh but short phrases that you repeat to yourself and affirmations are longer often most often things that are said to you huh. um but you can have self affirmations but mantras are things mostly that are short and you repeat okay. to yourself affirmations are things that you need to hear that are less lessons or oh. um so the longer ones are going to be affirmations they can uh and and mantras can be affirmations anyway so there is a difference and i kind of was right just okay. so we all know yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I like uh, it. Yeah. here we have underage children in the house uh so Wait, who, who, who's here <laughs> brady oh brady i didn't even see oh, my must be behind hi brady all right everyone uh watch your language brady's here <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to his channel yet you need to justin will you please drop his channel in the chat so that everyone can go subscribe to brady's channel no. oh yeah yeah please do well i think uh, you could probably just click on his name oh would it oh I don't, does that work I don't, yeah i'm not gonna touch my computer that'll go to his channel but i mean then you're gone you're leaving yeah, that'll go to his channel <laughs> <laughs> great no uh someone asked is this something that nally is actually doing and i'm like yes she is doing this we joke but i'm sure. like yes sure i'll do it i don't buy into the thing however i happen to have a natural gift but you're very good at selecting them so i think that we so i'm back at this thing like i think once a week the time slot filling the fantasy football it's 20 minutes long we get on you pull no. a card from no. me no 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 no, I think if we do it, we end up doing on the, we do it on our opposite bonus weeks. Oh, okay. On the Monday that, the, okay. So Mantra Monday, essentially. Mantra Which Monday. I love yeah. alliteration. We won't necessarily do mantras, but we'll call mm -hmm. it that. Okay. But yeah. Opposite Mondays, whatever time works for you, Nellie, I don't care. Uh, mm -hmm. we'll get on, which I like that better because then it starts your week. Mm -hmm. I know you're a big fan of the Monday. Uh, yeah. We get on, you pull, you pull cards for me. That's how we'll uh -huh. start. And then we'll go from there and you will pull cards for other people. Sometimes it will be people's pets. Yeah. Um, you have a pet sometimes. and you want, to hold, you want to hold your pet and write. Okay. This is for, I need, oh, this is going to be hard though. I need to look at the person. Ooh. We do know that that's a thing I have. Maybe if I just focus on your, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try focus it. on your name. Focus. Oh, yeah. and they got pictures. They got pictures. I can, I can, yeah, I can do this. I mean, you can look at their icon. Well, I mean, I've been pretty good at pulling people's blah, blah, blahs on my Instagram stories. Ben I'll make icon contact. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Me just go, okay, Ben, 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 Ben Rayfig, Ben Rayfig, Ben Rayfig, mm -hmm, or, or like mm -hmm. Rusty, Rusty Squid. Rusty. Rusty yeah. Squid. Well, we'll that's try. what I said. We'll try it. I don't know if it'll work. I gotta. Listen, the, we, there are no rules in this channel. I don't know if you guys have noticed. We just change things when we feel like it. So if we don't stick to it, well, we just didn't stick to it. So but we'll, <laughs> we'll, I think it, well, it's at least a fun way to start the year uh at the very least we'll we'll see we'll we'll talk about this again when we're not too drinks deep because this conversation is different than the later conversations when we, we have our big business meeting for the top of the year natalie and i are gonna have a big business meeting because we're very grown up and mature i don't wanna i don't wanna justin how many points do i have points yeah we've got our we need 10 points from our kicker who is playing oh, now yet. oh wait i have to pull this up this is very important i know we're actually gonna have to like roll this one down because yeah, yeah we need it we need it we need it well fantasy football is very important right now we're we're mm -hmm. still we're still doing this is our last chance it's our last, last chance. Effort. although oh so i don't think jason's gonna win jason's playing for the championship right now against my stepdad he stands a chance he just needs to get like 60 points today um but if Jason does win, and if we win this game against my mother right now, then we might decide to have what I decided to call the imaginary bowl. It's an invitational bowl between <laughs> Jason and us. Yes. <laughs> Next I'm week so, I'm for so, all the marbles. <laughs> I'm so into this. And I guarantee, is Jason down? Because I bet he would be down for this. He said yes when we were talking, but I thought it was only if we both won. Because okay. then we would be the top of the bottom and he would be the top of the top. Yeah. But now he's going to be the second place of the top. And what does that do? I mean, can we just do it anyways? We could do it anyway. This I is the funny thing. Thank you, Justin. After doing imaginary friends with him. How many points do I have? Three. Three? Three. 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 <laughs> We're in the first quarter still. We got three minutes to go the first quarter. So, you know. Um, we're, we're, so, we're, we're projected to, we're projected to win right now. We got a 53% chance of winning. That's what we're saying. Okay. So wait, yeah. the fun yeah. thing about if we play next week is that, um, what happens in the final week of regular season football is the really good teams sit their starters. So like, uh, you, uh, quite often your number one running backs are not playing because they don't need to. So if they already have made the playoffs and they already, they don't need to win anymore. Like the, uh, the chiefs would not be starting their number one players. So if you've been doing really well all season with the number one quarterback on the number one team, he's not playing next week. So now you are going into this last week, 17. This is why week 17 isn't part of playoffs. Right. Because so it would be interesting for Jason because Jason has a hard time right now because he lost Edwards Hilaire. Excuse me. Edward Hilaire would not be playing next week. So now he does not have his best running back or his best wide receiver or I mean we have the same thing except we don't have as good of players so <laughs> we actually might be set up a little bit better for that right I have one more story really quick yeah I cut Justin's hair like Hawkeye this week oh my gosh and I love it I <laughs> love it I think it's a fun look on him Hawkeye from um from the Avengers mm -hmm. Justin yeah has been wanting me to do this to his hair for a while now. Yeah. And yeah, and he uh, he kept asking him like, I can't, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I'm not doing that, Justin, I'm not. And then the other day he comes out of the bathroom and like his hair is just shaved in places. And I was just like, what have you done? And I'm like, now I have to, because I mean, he just went, Shit. I'm like, what? But it actually, he went too high in, on one side too. Oh. So like, as I made this, like, you know, shave the sides here and then I cut all the tops of it. But when I shave the side, one side, like the hairs are here and this hairs are like this long. And it's because he got too high over here. <laughs> he flew too close to the sun and his shoes started to melt. I like, love it. I don't know. Justin, can we post your picture in the, in the stories? I have one. I mean, we could take a better one and we could post it in the stories some other time, but I mean, but he gets, he keeps getting every time he's walked outside the front door, like the neighbors are like, yeah, I think it looks good on him. I'm a fan. But I see, okay, so here's, the, here's the thing growing up, liking, well, growing up in theater, especially in college, like 
every time the boys would change their hair for the show, they grow mutton chops, they get a mustache, they change their haircut or whatever. It's just, for me, I always love when men like grow a mustache randomly for six months or whatever, just change it up or like, I'm going to shave my head this way. They don't have like the same look yeah. for years and years and years. So you going to peek in here? You coming in do here? It. Do it. Do it again. I just quit. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> I don't love that. I so I always find it really fun when guys like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a handlebar monster. I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. It's just so amusing for me. Like you know, just change it because you because you have this whole this whole area to play. Like this yeah. whole entire. It's like doing different eye makeup. Like you get this whole entire thing, and it's just it's a different face for a bit. It's fun. I like it. Yeah, especially like stuff like that. We're like I'm gonna have a faux hawk for a while. Yes. Well, and that's what I think is funny. I think every guy at some point in time in their life has wanted a mohawk. Yeah. And so <laughs> I have a mohawk. I feel like I had so in love with it. Oh, I had what? a mohawk for a while. I loved it. Yeah. I had really short hair and I would just go and uh, make it do faux hockey weird stuff because I just mm -hmm. it was fun. Yeah. I and I like doing that to myself. Like I shaved my head once because I was like, I don't know, sounds kind of fun. This yeah. It didn't look half bad. I've never, I've never, see that, that's also one of those things with, if you're in theater, you're not supposed to ever cut your hair. Right. Like, yeah. as a girl yeah. in theater, you're never supposed to, like even bangs are bad <laughs> because bangs mean you can't do period. Right, yeah. Like, and so. Yeah. And unless they ask you to, like I had to cut, I cut my hair into a, a bob once for mm -hmm. a show. They're like, would you be willing to cut your hair? I'm like, absolutely. Yes. Tell me yeah. to cut my hair for a thing. I am so into it. I love it. And I literally like don't, I still do that. I don't change my hair really unless I just have a yin or I have a reason. So I think I'm going to grow all this blonde back out and just go back to being whatever this color Whatever is. it naturally is. Yeah, whatever this naturally is. And you'll still you'll still think of me as a blonde no matter what. I, I will. Think. Yeah, no matter what, you'll still be blonde. <laughs> you'll always write the description. And the, the wide-eyed blonde always. Yeah, forever. that's you. You're the wide-eyed blonde. Yes, always and forever. I'm working on them all right now. Nice. I cut my, I cut my bangs one time. I mean, like it, it had been, I went into like some modeling gig and mm -hmm. it was, I think it was a hair modeling one actually. And the girl was like, have you considered having blunt bangs? And I was like, no, I not really. And she's like, okay, never mind. I was like, no, you can do it. I don't care. And she was like, <laughs> she was like are, you, are you, are you sure? And I was like, do it, whatever. I trust you. I'm like, oh, it'll grow out if I don't like it. I liked it. It was fun for a while. Yeah. I'm like, I can't make it, but I, I'm like, it would look okay if my bangs would behave. My bangs don't. Yeah, yeah, no, that is the hard part. Yeah, like this little section right here just decides to do what it wants to do. I don't know if it Anna trimmed her hair with cuticle scissors yesterday. <laughs> Whom? Amanda. Amanda? <laughs> again. I need to cut mine. Mine is so long again. That's where my hair was wet. I was like, please, you have to cut my hair. It's so bad. Like, it's, it's, I, I don't wear it down right now pretty much at all because mm -hmm. I just, I, it needs to be styled cut, but it's so much better. And like, I've been using that pros shampoo on my hair and it's gotten, mm -hmm. it's getting the texture of my hair is finally improving and getting healthy again. So this next year is going to be like, let's just be nice to our hair and not dye it and then not cut it for 10 months. Well, that's what I did at the beginning of the pandemic. I was like, I'm just going to use this opportunity to yeah. not touch my hair like yeah. i let it i didn't dye it for mm -hmm. it was like five five months and that's the longest i think my hair's ever been without color since freshman year of high school so can but, you guys can you guys hear linda's kid screaming yes okay you could, <laughs> you could hear the breakdown that was happening sorry about that oh no that's bad <laughs> sorry about that guys well, it's just, you know, office craziness. Yeah, I don't know what's happening out there, but it's not good. Did uh, Bill dress up as Santa again? Because that's never that's Oh, never. God, it's terrifying. Yeah, no, he's not a good Santa. He's way too thin. And that scar across his face just really scares it, the children. It's disturbing. <laughs> he keeps trying to make this Santa thing happen, and, like, it never works out for him. <laughs> no. Well, that glossy white eye, because he's the well, dead eye. That he the, the one I can never remember is the right 
or the left eye that actually is the real eye? I don't know. <laughs> is it the blue one or the brown one? <laughs> oh, God, it's such a rough time of the year. So there was like a big, a little bit of a Christmas party going on for from family. And we were discussing the, the whole nature of like going to the grandparents' house for the Christmas party on Christmas Day and how... By the time, so especially when you've got little ones like this, like they're two, by the time you Brady. get to that point in the day, bye Brady, happy new year's. Um, by the time you get to that point in the day, the kid has been a worked up for a month about Santa. Yeah. So excited about Christmas Eve. Can't sleep the night before wakes up early Christmas day, full till about how excited with presents and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, just when the kid's about to like crash, let's now go do an all family Christmas thing. Yeah. Just like, and like, so now we got to bundle everybody up, put on dress clothes and go to a Christmas party and, and the, you know, poor kid and then feed them sugar all that whole time. So the mm -hmm. next three days are just detox basically from everything. Emotional sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. blood, carbs. You name it. Yeah. I can't even, it's rough, but, uh, that's the holidays for you. Right. Yeah. Well, it's like when you see, it's like kids leaving Disneyland. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're just like, by the time fireworks happen at Disneyland, kids should already be yes. home because yeah. they are miserable. Uh, I miss Disneyland. I can't wait to go back. Even though I only go like once a year with you, like the fact that we didn't get to go, I keep thinking about this. Like the fact that we didn't get to go this year, I'm like, uh, yeah really I like I'm I've got the little bit of we've done I've gotten accustomed to a certain life I and know oh I know I want to I go back to my little our little um all company retreat it's team building yeah yeah I do I, miss I do miss Disneyland quite a bit yeah I'm sure you do I bet it's like your safe haven yeah it's my happy place yeah I haven't, got to uni I haven't gone to Universal or the tar pits at all my mom got me a tar pit the tar pit national museum. i bet you could go to the tar pits though you can go you just can't go inside the museum you can walk yeah. around the park stuff which i totally probably will do when i get back but you can yeah go the museum and i want to go sit there and watch the people organize bones for like um, yeah and i want to go to the Nat natural history museum and spend some more time in the rock room my favorite place all right, we should probably wind this sucker up so you guys don't have to listen to the the, the sad wind down of Christmas much longer. Uh, let's keep <laughs> questions. Again, the questions that you're going to answer after this live stream is over, we're going to hit the button, then you'll come back to the video. It will reload. You'll listen to us talk again. And I will typey typey them in there. And you will typey typey the answer to these questions, and you're going to be winning a box of junk. I uh -huh. eat stuff from the previous episode. Probably one of these beautiful one ornaments. Them, that one or that one. Some traveling. I promise I try to put one really cool thing in the box and then a lot of other weird stuff. Big thing <laughs> you're winning is a buttload of narrow gum, which makes the box kind of heavy. And it was old. So these questions mm -hmm. are as follows, Natalie. Number one, what is your favorite holiday movie? Right. Number two, where do you work in this office? And not where do you sit? What is your job in Power. this office? What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Tara yeah. is a, an executive assistant. Um, yeah. What is Justin's job? What is Justin's job? He's IT. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. IT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's IT. He has a crush on the girl receptionist that won't get the job. It's weird. Yeah, he keeps yeah. harassing me. He keeps coming up to fix your computer. It's very unusual. My computer keeps breaking and I don't know why, but I'll what see the mouse move on its own and then like it all crashes. And then you I have to call IT. Your desk and you're under it. Like, what is happening down there? Anyways, what are you doing? What are you doing <laughs> down there? Number three, do you make it to midnight on New Year's? Are you, New Year's Eve, I guess, not New Year's. Or New, New Year's Eve. Four yeah. a.m., baby. Yeah, no. I'm always up. Always. I like, I like to, I like to rattle rails. It's fun for me. And then if you're East Coast, do you make it to mid to all the midnights? Because that's an interesting thing living West Coast. Like living West Coast, you see all the midnights already. Yeah, that's true. So it's a little bit easier to not go to bed, I mean, to go to bed before midnight because you've already seen the ball drop. You've already seen the celebration. Yeah, when do all the midnights stop? When is, when is everybody, what time is everybody in the new year for Pacific Standard Time? 
Well, that makes it like it's Justin, four hours ahead, time? three hours ahead. Yeah, Justin, could you do the time map on that and tell me what time that is? Because that is kind of fun to know. Like mm -hmm. now it is New Year's for everyone. They're all in this together. Mm -hmm. Well, what about Hawaii? What about Alaska, Tara? You're yeah, just, yeah. yeah. What you're leaving out Hawaii and Alaska? Yeah, what time is that for them? Like, what time yeah. would I need to stay up for to be be with all of you guys on the New York? Monsanto was free. The ticket. <laughs> um, I keep clicking. I keep clicking her mouse. Nothing has happened. Justin, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Justin does because he knows I like dirty jokes. Knock it off. We're yeah, you're gonna get. You're gonna send you. You're, you're gonna go to HR you're again. Gonna, you're you're gonna get us in trouble. And because I'm like, because <laughs> I'm an eight year old, but well, 12 year old boy. Uh, <laughs> my name is your mid is for you is mid my midnight. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like if, if you lived East coast and yeah. you get your midnight, do you stay up for other people's midnights? Because we've already had three midnights by the time our midnight rolls around. Right. Now I want to know what the last midnight is. Who's, 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 whom? Is that why I'll have what Tara is drinking, please. Uh, Chris, your judgment is not appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's my fault, but I don't appreciate the tone in your text. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I, don't pre I don't appreciate the tone I'm reading in your text right now. Uh, 8 p.m. here, I'm calling the bed. I know, right? I've been going to bed so early lately. I've just been like passing out 11 every night. Yeah. 11, 11 here time which is eight, eight o'clock yeah. our time. I've just been zonking every single night. Except last night I played Rummy Cube. Rummy Cube until, I keep saying the name wrong. Rummy Cube until like 1 a.m. Cause I'm dumb. Cause I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's, it's really, well, I was playing with, well, I was playing with Thickest and the guys and like, which is, it's so addicting. I was getting so mad that I was losing every time. Oh, so my, my parents and I played Rummy Cube this, this year too. And we had a very heated Rummy Cube game every night where we're just like, no, I will not lose just tabletop games. It's very silly. I love it. Justin and I fought. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Justin is gets, goes to sleep so early some yeah. nights and then other nights doesn't ever go to bed. Like it's so weird. Like it's, it'll be one night he's falling asleep at eight o'clock. And then another night, I'm like, it's midnight. Are you going to bed anytime soon? Okay, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> like, there's just no rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, that's that's weird, Justin. That's weird. Yeah, I have a feeling like with my, I've got a kind of a new gig going. So I have a feeling that my new job is going to mean that I'm going to need to adjust my. Oh, you'll probably need to be up earlier to field emails and stuff like that. I'll yeah. probably have to start my days earlier because they're in a different time zone than I am. So I'll probably have to start getting up. Like not even just... 9 a.m. for them, but like some oh, yeah. so I can get up, wake up, move around, like maybe do like a little something, something, and then do some work and then blah, 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 blah. yeah. So she means like yoga or something, guys. She doesn't something something means something different to Tara. Oh I mean, <laughs> I mean like have a cup of coffee, right? I don't want to do a little something, something and then I don't want to do I'm not talking about my stupid self help. I'm talking about my stupid self help stuff, like write in my journal, say my affirmations to myself, like you know, that's all <laughs> you know, whiten my teeth a little bit and then start my day. You know, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Oh uh, well, it's been one heck of a year. This state the least. I can't we believe made it. we made it all the way to 2021. We're getting Almost. There. Don't jinx us, Tara. Don't jinx us. Well, we launched our last episode for 2020. So I'm saying this year is in the book. We have a live stream tomorrow. We have one live stream. The, the sh uh, if that never, if, 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 if we fell into a volcano, the whole entire world, I don't know. I don't know the science on that, but. No one would notice. You can't die in a pandemic. Nobody will notice. <laughs> Okay, now they went on a whole tear about that the other day. That is a discussion for shush shush. No, if, if 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 it never happened, I'm still considering this season complete because we we have launched every single episode, edited episode that we have intended to to launch this year. So we are done. We are wrapped. We are in the books. It is done. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will be back on tomorrow at noon Pacific Standard Time. Time travel is really hard. That means uh, two o'clock for me. 
to mm -hmm. do fantasy football, and we're gonna go watch the game right now because uh, we got it. We got we got we got a chance to win right now. We're projected to win, so it's very important that we're yes. first. Because if we're watching, that changes everything. I'm off my gift game. I need to leave so I can send my mom gifts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're gonna have to, don't forget to come back after the episode ends to answer the three questions. We'll put those in a Can you comment feel below. A brand new Thank day. You. And happy new year, guys. Happy new year's, guys. We really enjoyed this last year with you. Thank you for making 2020 a thousand times more bearable because we had you to talk to and work with and play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, guys. Stay safe. Have fun, as Justin would say. Goodbye. Have fun. Be safe. <laughs>